there, how you guys doing? It's me, your girl, No Fuse. And we're back with some more rain code. Um, but yeah, we were in the middle of uh, making Zilch believe that, it, that he's behind all this. And he, for some reason, he would admit it. He's gone through two transformations and we're, we're about to get his ass. So let's just continue on with the game. And how are you guys doing today, by the way? You guys doing good? I hope you are. <laughs> Amazing for seeing your potential. It's so strange. It doesn't feel like I'm learning this stuff, more like I'm remembering it. Yeah, because you lost your memories. Maybe I was even a high-ranking detective in the WDO. Now's no time for bragging. You still gotta catch him. Right. She said, "Stop bragging." Oh, okay. We're going up some stairs. My mortal enemy. Stairs. <laughs> Everything feels different here. This is just the calm before the storm. Be careful. You don't know what's gonna happen next. Maybe, um... Yeah, maybe because we're about to hit the final boss. I don't know why he'd be up so many stairs. First car and click the fifth was a really big trick to pull off. I'm surprised the train cars could disconnect and reconnect so smoothly. The I'm trying to like move the camera around, but it's not working. Programmed before we departed. Even the trick with the swapping train car? Probably. It had to have been done automatically. Well, it'd be easy for Amaterasu. They own the train. That's what I'm worried about. Even if I obtain the truth here, won't they just ignore what I say and arrest me anyway? I keep telling you not to worry about it. As long as you have the truth, the culprit can't escape. Why are you so sure of that? He probably got some upper sleeves. <laughs> what is this? Sorry, <laughs> I'm doing things. Looks like a fort to me. With this kind of protection, I bet the truth is in there for sure. I just I have to destroy it. I mean, for him, if this was going off Zilch, I would expect maybe like a fort in a forest or maybe a huge mountain behind him or something. Not a castle. You know what I'm saying? Like, let it match the personality. Oh, I mean, he does have, like, a big head and he's got that, uh, Biakia mentality, so maybe that does fit. But he's, like, nature. He's, like, nature boy, so I still go with, like, at least a fort in the forest. You know what I'm saying? So the truth is here. You can't have the truth. Why are you posing at me like this? <laughs> it's impossible to destroy this fortress. Just give up and leave. Whenever a culprit takes a last stand like this, you know we're just a step away from unriddling this labyrinth. Master, time to show him how dangerous you really are. After all, he did try to set you up. I'm not worried about that right now. We're so close to the truth. Now, granted, him setting you up was like a last minute thing. We don't know if Zilch was behind the fact that I lost my memory. I'm well, no. We know that he's not the fact that I lost my memory. I mean, like... I'm trying to figure where I'm going with this. <laughs> like, we know he's not behind us being in that room losing our memories, but... We don't know if him trying to frame us is like a last ditch type of thing. Because he could have killed us. He really could have killed us. But for some reason, he just said, nah, you'll get to live. 
And I bet he's kind of regretting that now. I think I think he was really just counting on his amnesia to work for him. But now it's kind of like, oh, oh snap, like this is this is hurting me now. We gotta do this. Oh man, she just rushed forward, alright. like a normal person <laughs> why did you have to like chomp on my head like you're a titan god shinigami this is a giant battle shinigami's tutorial corner to overcome the last sin of a fat and tear through all obstacles with the mega sized god Gray's onset destroyer please okay just run forward let's do this master Oh, oh! Blast away the gigantic iron balls um, with these from Phantom Force with corresponding kick. No one can stop me! When an obstacle closes in and the screen slows down, press the button to attack. What? Missing the input timing means failure to take them, so be careful. So it says wait till it slows down. I won't let you have the truth. Wait! I pressed it! I, see, I, see. I pressed it! What do you mean? How did I take damage? Before destroying huge walls when they suddenly appear with a corresponding tackle. Again, when the screen is so down, press the button to attack. Blech. Missing the type means. Go away! So you gotta be quick with this. I see. So I thought I had like at least three seconds to respond. Like the moment it slows down, like that split 0.5 second slowdown, you have to press it or you take damage. Like that's not a slowdown. You might as well just go with normal speed. Jump the. Jump to the void thorns that suddenly appear from the ground. Easy, easy. Just bring and press the button to jump. Watch out! Okay, you could have just told me this all at once. Okay. Your deduction is wrong. Go away! I don't come near me. Don't come any closer. Stop it! Switching the first and fifth cards is just your imagination. It's a completely baseless lie. There's no evidence they ever swapped. Destroy the walls. Yo, check, check. Okay. I realized what was happening with the whole kick thing. Uh, and I was getting really, I was starting to get a little mad about why that one wasn't working. And it was because my dumb self was pressing the wrong button. Um. I was pressing X, and I, I I don't know why. Maybe my maybe my mind is going off PlayStation. I don't know. But for some reason, I thought the up button <laughs> the up button uh, symbol was A when really that was X. So I ended up hurting myself because I pressed the wrong thing. Okay. Open the split. Open the solution key. Pick a key that contradicts the phantom statement. Boom slash. Okay. Here's the solution. 
simulation key to smash through the wall, Master! It has to be this. You're wrong! Huh? Come on! No! There are traces of a swap! The warped plate from car 5! The reason that plate was burned so thoroughly is because originally, it said car 1. Left as it was, it would have messed up your plot to make car 1 look like car 5. That's why you made extra sure it was burned beyond recognition! There we go. I burned the plate to disguise it? No! I didn't do that! Stop it! Stop! Go away! Get away from me! Get away! Get away! It just happened to be easily burned! But with it burned, you have no way of knowing what number car it was! Okay, there we go. So that was the last move there. Backing up your deduction. You have no hard evidence proving that location was the first car. Looks like we need another solution key to boom kill him. Good luck, Master. You have no hard evidence proving the location was the first car. Would it be this? Because one would have it and the other wouldn't. Because it can't be this. And it wouldn't be this. There is proof! The blood stain on the inner lock of the infirmary in car 5! The culprit probably didn't notice it. But I remember. It's my blood! Wait, is it? How is it his blood? You explain that. When I was trying to get into the infirmary in car one, I cut my finger on the glass. You guys, you guys can't probably tell, but I'm thinking he cut his finger on glass. What was this? I'm gonna have to look back on my streams. He cut his finger on glass. Can you do a flashback, when I please? I reached through to unlock the latch. I must have gotten blood on it. But that bloodstain would have been hidden while the interlock was open. That's probably why the culprit missed it. My blood, which was left behind in car one, was found in car five. Yeah, but I can't- I don't remember him cutting his finger and putting blood on the lock. I do not remember that. Do you guys remember that? Please let me know. I'm really gonna have to look back and see when this happened. This proves that someone pulled off the car switching trick! This is the truth of the case! Huh? Are you about to tackle me, bro? What? He's still going? Let us boom kill you already! If car one became car five, then where did the culprit supposedly hiding in the infirmary go? You had to have checked the fifth car, but the culprit wasn't there! It must have been hiding somewhere in the fifth car. Probably someplace safe. 
cloth protection. The train door, no. Main restroom. Okay, it's either main control A or infirmary. Let's go with infirmary first. Mistake. Okay, my bad. I'm in my head. I'm going off infirmary. different cars. The culprit wasn't there. I thought it was the one with like the nice one still. Well, nice except it has a corpse on it. But you know what I mean. I was going off of that one, but we're in the other. One. Then it would have to be in this one because we couldn't go in there, right? Here. The culprit was hiding inside the main control room, which was locked shut the entire time. I didn't have the key, so I could never have gotten inside. I bet the culprit moved there from the infirmary while car one was running on the second track. If the train's management company, Amaterasu Corporation, was involved, the culprit may have had the key. Dang. And then they hid in a blind spot I couldn't see from the window. That's how they got past me. No. It's not me. I even look like you're always trying. <laughs> I'm not the culprit! Great detective work! I'd call that a critical hit! He seems like he's barely standing! All that's left is to finish him off! Finish him off? Uh, how do I do that? Shove all your evidence into the solution blade and slash as hard as you can! I'm loving all these animation scenes that we're getting. Deduction denouncement? No! <laughs> they took the comic book thing from Dong and Rafa, like, let's review the entire case from, from start to finish. They want me to do that. And just put it in comic book form of what actually happened, so that way he can't deny it. Oh my god! I'm glad they kept this though. It was one of my, it was one of my favorite parts because you get to see. I wonder if they're gonna play the animation in comic book form or is it gonna be like a movie? The deduction announcement is where the truth is made clear by thinking through deductions up to that point. Please. I, keep, I forgot that she likes to talk every time I switch pages. Here's the correct piece in the corresponding deduction cap. To reveal the truth. This could be the clincher! Lock pages can open up by solving the mystery, so keep it up, up, up! There's only one truth! Once every gap is filled with a piece, a finale will be all mysteries of being above. Everything has been revealed to this point. Oh, this moment. So are there like gaps? Oh, so these are like where the gaps are. Okay, got it. Understanding. Okay, that's the tip. Drink everything. What was used to break the window?
did it choose it or no? Oh, it did. Okay. I thought I didn't. What happened after exit? body was found last. Uh, Apex. I'm so sorry, I suspected you Apex. <laughs> you were both discovered first and last, and we didn't even know it. I knew the bodies were switched. I knew they were. Unfolded aboard the Amaterasu Express, which was on its way to Kanai Ward. I rushed onto the train as it was about to depart. At that time, the train was made up of five cars. All because you were fast asleep in the Lost and Found, Master. If you'd kept snoozing, the case would never be solved. When the train started moving, it was only four cars long. The fifth and final one was left at the station. And so, the culprit scheme had already begun. Meaning Amaterasu Corporation was involved from the get-go. On the train, the master detectives were gathered together in car two. That was the dining car. And the 
culprit had already mixed a knockout drug into every drink there. I bet the culprit was the first person on the train, so they could prepare in advance and wait for everybody else. I felt unwell, and Melanie went to the trouble of pouring me a coffee. But after drinking it, I started to feel drowsy. I was hearing things at the time and thought that I might be seriously ill. But it was actually the truck. No, it was actually Shigami whispering in your ear. Uh, this one thought yours truly was responsible. Sticks and stones don't do much to make up that, but slander stings. She's so hurt by it. The culprit sent me off to car one in order to frame me as the killer. I'm sure the culprit didn't expect you to get sick, Master, but... Since you look like a super easy target, they could probably change their plan and went after you instead. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. I was just like... Like, the plan must have just changed. Like, okay, he's in... Unknown element. I gotta do something about him. But... I, I wanna know, from Zilch's mouth, why didn't he kill us? Because he could have. He really could have set us on fire or stabbed us or whatever. And there was nothing she, Gami, or any else would have done because everybody else was pretty much dead by that point. Why did you let me miss? Once I left, the other master detectives must have fallen asleep because of the drugged drinks. The culprit then burned everyone to death. Setting all those master detectives on fire! On purpose! What a psycho! This was when the culprit put their plan to frame me into motion. Remember how I'm a cult of Shadow Zilch? Which is Shadow Zilch also said that he's a victim. Which also, I really also want to know what drove him to do this. If he's so high and mighty as he thinks he is, what would drive him to do this? What did Atsumaru say? to like to drive him to do this I, it has to do something with nature it has to knowing him but he hates disharmony so the fact that he conducted this harmony it's like I, so you gotta tell us the backstory like you guys know what's going on here first they carried Aphex's charred corpse to the infirmary in car one first body we found. Then, they deliberately left a fire extinguisher near the restroom I was sleeping. This was done to prompt me into smashing the door later. Gotta have someone get inside somehow, or else nobody would find the body. Next, the culprit entered the infirmary, locked the door, and laid down on the bed with Aphex's charred corpse. Why? A knife and cushion created the red herring. Oh, a way to pretend to be dead. Furthermore, the culprit set the room on fire just as I was waking up. While you were sleeping, I felt someone come into the restroom. They must have seen me then and timed it. When I woke up in the restroom and went into the hallway, car one was beginning to fill with smoke. Oh, that's some precise timing! I caught a glimpse of Zelch in the infirmary, with a knife lodged in his chest. But it didn't take long for the smoke to obscure everything. Yeah. That was when the culprit took out Aphex's burnt corpse. Switched places with it. So this all could have been solved if my boy Yuma was two things: either very thorough and cool-headed, or quick on his feet. Because you saw how long it took him to get that fire engine and like smash him through the glass. Like he was talking to Shigun for so long. I was like, 
Do you know how mad it would be in the afterlife? I just saw you like talking to somebody for like a, like a whole like two minutes before you came to save my ass. Like, if you would just move just a little bit quicker, you probably would have caught him going under the bed. And waited for me to enter the room while hiding beneath the bed. train from there, they detached car one. That caused the blackout and shaking, and the power source was switched over to the backup system. So the train shook. Oh, was there or was there not jiggling in my place? Take a guess. Will you please? While the detached car one was running on a separate track, Culprit went to work. I love how Yuma just kind of ignoring her comments and just like, whatever, like, he's getting used to it at this point. Preparing to disguise Car 1 as Car 5. What about the checklist? Oh my god. <laughs> First, Apex's corpse was carried to the corridor, and the necklace removed earlier was placed back on. Then, the Car 1 number plate was burned so that it couldn't be properly identified. With everything in place, the culprit went into the main control room, locked the door, and waited for the train cars to reconnect. Now well, this time, the culprit was riding in car one on the other track, right? Yeah, the train which was only cars 2, 3, and 4 at the time, remained on course. Since we were in a tunnel, I didn't even realize car 1 was moving alongside us. Yeah. The train we were on went through the tunnel with only three cars. When it came out of the tunnel, the car with the culprit in it attached to car 4. Now behind car 4, that car became car 5. The swap was pre-programmed into the train's automatic operating system, right? Technology sure is convenient and scary, depending who's using it. The culprit riding in car one attached it to the back of car four. That caused more shaking, but there was no blackout this time because the power supply stayed the same. Additional shaking occurred inside my blouse. Put the power stick out. After that, I mistook car one for car five and walked right in. The culprit wrecked so much I didn't even notice the door I had smashed when I was in car one before. I figured they'd be some kind of brawl. But that was part of the culprit's plan, wasn't it? Also, no one would realize it was actually car one. Found the corpse, I deduced that it was Aphex from the necklace it had on it. But I was just rediscovering the same charred corpse from car one. 
the disguised corpse and the car switch completely fooled me. Using a dead body? Oh, this is a scary idea! When the train arrived in Kanai War, it connected to a different, prearranged car one. The train once again had five cars. So much attaching and detaching. What a stupid, crazy, elaborate trick! Yeah, it was so elaborate and so crazy that no one would think to do it. That's probably why Zilch was hoping that it worked. The peacekeepers were lying in wait at the station. As the sole survivor. I was set up as the one responsible for the murders. And Amaterasu was in on it! That really turns me on! <laughs> this is just... please... Just, just stop here, Gabby. Just, just please stop. You mean... this is me off, right? No, no. She, she knows what she said. She, she knows. During that time, the culprit stayed hidden in the main control room of the disguised car one. And waited for the peacekeepers to haul you in, Master. They were right there at the scene. After burning all the Master detectives, the culprit faked their own death and tried to frame me as the killer. It was a cunning, cold-blooded scheme. And the evil dealer who committed these countless contemptible crimes is none other than... Zilch Alexander. Alexander! It was you! I love that. And he acted like he was still working on the train, too. This is the truth I've uncovered! Uh, okay. Okay, are you gonna tell us why you did it? Is that it? What's this? It's the truth. It's the soul of the true culprit who made this mystery labyrinth. The soul of the true culprit? Wait, what am I supposed to do with this? I love how his feather is now blue instead of pink. Or, yeah, pink. <laughs> now it's time for the main event! Here we go! It's my time to shine! Bloodlust, overflowing despair, the brilliant soul of Shibam. Shall we sponge this cursed place? shouldn't be broken yet the peacekeepers will take care of you we have all the time in the world huh, huh? <laughs> 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 
Shinigami, where are you? Nothing here's changed. What's going on? Okay. I was wondering if he's going to start shouting that out and I'm be like, "Please stop looking extra crazy." But um he's he's finally learning that. Okay, let me use my inner voice <laughs> to talk to her. Shinigami, are you listening? Get him. Wait, I know who the culprit is! What? It's Zilch! He's still alive! He framed me! What are you talking about? He's already dead! Huh? But... Shut up! This is not up for discussion! Uh, what a waste of time! Take him away! Shinigami! Where did you go? This isn't what's supposed to happen! <laughs> I'm right here! Okay. You're so cute when you panic, so I had to enjoy the view for a bit. Stop playing around! Why hasn't the situation changed at all? He must be hallucinating. <laughs> Taking him down shouldn't be a problem. Take him away! What? He's dead! What? Who's dead? Looks like it's over. What? What is happening? <laughs> explain! Explain! She we got Please explain. Huh? What's over? Shinigami, what's going on? There's only a price to pay. When I read the soul of the true culprit. The mystery labyrinth created by the culprit is destroyed. <laughs> she basically killed him. It's a nice way of saying, yeah, I killed him. I took his soul. But as a price, the source that created the mystery labyrinth also perishes. The source perishes? <gasps> Don't tell me. All that evidence is now gone. That's right, the true culprit dies. Yep. Then that report saying Silch, the true culprit, was dead. Man, that solves today's mystery. The true culprit is as dead as a doornail. We'll never get to hear his explanation? <sighs> You're now innocent and free to go, master. A happy ending. A uh no, that's probably not what's not that's probably not what's about to happen next. There's nothing happy about this! Zilch died because I solved the mystery. Right? Yeah, and you were about to go to prison for life if you didn't uh, solve it, and he framed you and could have killed you, but decided to just frame you instead. Um so <laughs> I, just, I don't really feel bad for him dying. Okay, this is, you know, this is not feeling bad about every little thing, you know? Just, you know, he, uh, he did wrong by you, so, uh, karma. Huh? He was a dangerous murderer who killed four master detectives. He deserved to die. I mean, I don't think I'm completely free to go. Not even with Zilch being dead. In that case, say exactly what I'm about to tell you to that gilded idiot over there. Okay. Swank, did you just receive a report that Zilch was dead? How did you know that? I thought so. Ah! If he was alive until moments ago, that changes things about this case. Someone who died in front of our, my, eyes, was alive. This is clearly an attempt by the culprit to disguise the truth. Don't tell me the peacekeepers lied to try to cover up what really happened. You didn't try to frame an innocent person, did you? I mean, my boy Yuma's got some acting skills. Good job. Weasel your way out of this? 
You better not forget you're in Kanai Ward now! You're powerless before the might of the Amaterasu Corporation! No, um, I didn't mean... Don't lose your backbone now, Yuma. You were doing great. You were doing great. You know, square your shoulders. You know, look straight in the eye. And say, go fuck yourself. Don't surrender so easily. You were so close. Yeah, exactly. That does it. You're under Oh my arrest. god. Look at his face. Listen, you got no right to remain silent, and you got no right to call a lawyer either. Take him away. Yuma. Oh, wait. Hold on. Hold on just a second. Hey, excuse me. Too. Do you have a minute? You. It's all good. Let's stop all the fighting. We both have to follow orders from the higher up, so let's not do anything that causes unnecessary. I love your tattoo. Tension. Falsifying evidence and testimonies is a drag when it comes time to do the paperwork, right? It's tough keeping things consistent. Just forget about all that and leave it to me, yeah? You know, I saw that the true culprit was alive and well just a bit ago. What? If you let us go, I'll cook something up in my report to the World Detective Organization. You don't want trouble, right? If the WDO floods this joint because of you. Your punishment might be kind of brutal. So, you know what to do. Leave things well enough alone, as they say. Let's go! Thank goodness that worked out. Who is he? Beats me? His voice sounds so familiar. Everyone's voice in this game sounds so familiar. I'm gonna run around a little bit. Is there is there anything? I don't know if there's like a game like collectibles or anything like that, but I'm gonna run around and see where anything is. Aw, I can't go nowhere. Hey. There's something I need to make sure of. You mind coming over here so we can talk? Say! What are you gonna do, Master? He says he wants to talk. Yeah. Let's listen to what he has to say. Like, this is a really cool looking character right here. You can tell he does like the shadow work of of Kanye where you can you can tell he has that whole vibe about him. Well I bet that was quite a long trip for you. Welcome to Kanai Ward. Thanks. You must be Yuma. Yuma Coco Head, right? I can't get over his I last am. name. And you are? I'm Yako Furio. I was born and raised in Kanai Ward. Oh. Just a humble member of the WDO. Oh, you're a detective. That's why you were vouching for us. Okay. I thought you were with us tomorrow. But you're with us. I'm the director of the Nocturnal Detective Agency. The only detective agency in Kanai Ward. Please ignore the police sirens if you guys can hear them. <laughs> they're, they're, uh reoccurring sound in this neighborhood, unfortunately. <laughs> My office welcomes you. Nice to make your acquaintance. Uh, thanks. 
the pleasure is all mine. So he's a detective from the WDO. Finally, I've met an ally. Don't assume. Stop assuming shit, Yoma. Every time you assume that someone's an ally, they stab you in the back. Have you learned nothing from this whole train incident? Like, until you know, know that this is a full-on ally, don't be happy about it yet. Let, let him be in like the acquaintance category for now. He managed to turn away the peacekeepers, so he must be in high standing. Stop being happy about it. Really? He's clearly just some careless middle-aged man. Oh, by the way, don't tell anyone about yours truly. You might have forgotten, but our secret is included in the contract. It'd be terrible if you broke this rule. To be exact, your whole body would be drained of its blood. Oh, jeez. Okay, I won't tell anyone. Well, even if you did, they'd just assume you're some crazy person. Now, shall we? Oh, by the way, I'd like to hear the details about this incident. Yeah, I bet it's quite the story. Uh, right. We're gonna see Swank again. Without a doubt, he's gonna he's gonna be coming at us several times in this game. I'm sorry I kept you waiting. It took a while to get through all the proceedings. They practically interrogated you, right? <laughs> Kanai Ward is completely shut off from the outside world. Communication devices such as cell phones are confiscated. Cameras are not permitted to leave Kanai Ward either. Even if you smuggle something with reception in, Kanai Ward is a dead zone. Dang. So it doesn't even matter if you're able to like get a cell phone or any electronic in, yet it would just lose signal like automatically. Thanks to all that tight closure, nobody's using this fancy station at all. Did you say no one? You show a lot of promise, considering how you handled that Amaterasu trouble. I was scared, to be honest. I don't want to deal with them if I don't have to. Uh, the thing is, the peacekeepers always antagonize detectives. Yeah, because they don't want you sniffing around their, uh, their sketchy dealings. As a basic rule, never look them in the eye. They're always itching for a fight. <laughs> kind of like mad dogs. <laughs> right. Amaterasu Corp doesn't want the unified government or the WDO meddling in their matters. I even caught wind of them hiring a hitman. A uh, hitman? They plan to wipe out any master detectives before they enter Kanai Ward. Yep, zilch. The results of which is this Amaterasu Express Massacre. So Zilch was actually a hitman? Nope. There was a real master detective named Zilch. He was murdered beforehand and used as a disguise. Oh! So Zilch wasn't even Zilch! He was an imposter! So, oh man, if someone had an animal, like, on the, uh, on the train, we could have ex- exposed him a long time ago. <sighs> now, how good is his disguise? Like, his disguise must have been on point for... N well, no. They said that this is the first time they've ever seen each other. So he could have been... He could have looked like anybody. And no one would have, you know, suspected a thing. If only we had, if only someone had hamsters, a bird, or a cat, anything, any kind of four-legged creature, we them, they, they, we could have solved this whole thing beforehand. We could have called him out a long time ago. You are fourth in my suspect list. Well done. You hid from me pretty well. I was expecting Zange the entire time. Sorry, Zange. You just look like the villain. You look really like a villain. 
That's that's my bad. My bad. <laughs> you were in the first car earlier. The real Zilch is laying dead somewhere in there. Wait, what? The real Zilch is le laying somewhere dead in- What? What the world? There was a separate first car at the station before you arrived where Zilch's body was hidden. Then, the four train cars that you rode in would arrive at the station in Kanai Ward. So, they pre-prepared his burnt corpse in the car that attached itself when we arrived. To say what I know that Zilch was dead. Wow. And this also put answers to my question of like, Zilch, why? Why would you do this to us? They're all about nature and... Harmony between humans and animals? You, why would you do this? I don't understand. But now I see why, because you're not really Zilch. And connect with the fake first car. That makes a total of five dead master detectives at Kanai Ward's platform. With no master detectives left, you would be arrested as the only culprit. That was the plan. They would go to such lengths? Shows how sketchy these guys are. You're in the sketchy crop pot right now. Absolutely. Even though the plan didn't work, we still lost five master detectives. Given the situation, I'm honestly surprised you survived, Yuma. That's all thanks to me. You're so lucky to be haunted by yours truly. Wait, if there was a real Zilch, then the number of people on board the Amaterasu Express Including me, that makes six people. The numbers still don't add up. I, Hoochie, heard from the World Detective Organization that the number of master detectives on the train was... See, okay, so remember in the last stream, and even the one before that, I was asking, I was asking to myself, like, what if someone's able to figure out how to escape detection? Because Aphex's was life detection, but what if they're not alive? Could he still detect them? And for her, she says, I can still, she said, you can hide from not breathing, but you can't hide your heartbeat. So, there, so if you're dead, you can still be undetected by both of them. So that was right. Someone has pretty much figured this out. So they did figure this out. They had this, they had all their abilities, all their fortes, like all their information be like, okay, we got two people that could detect an extra person or how many other extra people are here. We got to find a way around that. And that's what they did. So I was right. Okay. I, ah, I knew it was right. I knew it. I knew it. Precisely five. Oh, I'll explain that later. Anyway, let's leave this place. Wouldn't want to give the peacekeepers any ideas. Oh, jeez. This is like steampunky. Goth steampunk. It's raining. Hey, you're right. I wonder how much we get to venture out into this city. Who's coming now? What? Roxas? From Kingdom Hearts? Who's that guy? <laughs> Beats me. He looked like one of those, uh, nobodies from Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Oh, 
I see, I see. Results. Once the culprit is boom killed, you'll get rewarded based on how well Master did inside the mystery labyrinth. You'll Are you going to remember all of this? <laughs> yes. You'll get reward for each overall rating because SS uh, to C, not only do you get reward for rating you receive, but every rating below it. So try shooting for the top. Okay. How bad did I do? Okay. S. S. My stamina is a C? How is my stamina a C? Oh, I got my rank up. It's it. Eight? Eight? Is it the final number? Eight. All right. Save progress. Yes. I would love to save my progress. We're still in chapter zero. We're not at chapter one. First off, how many chapters are in this game right now? How many? We're in the prologue, it says. We're still in the prologue. Oh, this is gonna be a long game. <laughs> Five hours later. One year later. Seven years later, oh my god! <laughs> Load the game, please! Cheese! WDF versus Absomoro Corporation. Oh no, it's in our loading screen. Oh, he finally gets his little hat! Oh, he gets the cape too, in reality. There's a place I want to show you. It's the best spot to learn about this town. Hey, relax. Don't be so nervous. Sure. She has her thumbs up like, yeah. Come on, this way. Outfit. Wait, is it? Let's like appreciate it. Oh my god. Well, that's a little robot from the Lost and Found that we saw. Well, that tower looks important. You know. What a huge city. Maybe it's because of the rain, but it's a little eerie. Yeah, it does look eerie. The lights make it look like we're in evil villain, even villain town. Someone come up with a villain, <laughs> villain city title name because I can't think of it on the fly. Is there anything else I can like mess with? But bet money, I I'm gonna just call it right now. The final boss is gonna be, like, at that tower. That looks like the most important place right now. <sighs> I love the view of the city from here. Oh no, it's like we're always right at the brink of dawn. Although, thanks to them, the real dawn will never rise here. Because of all the smoke? That building kind of reminds me of the building in Final Fantasy. You mean Amaterasu Corporation? Kanai Ward is isolated and out of the UG's reach. Now, Amaterasu is the de facto master of the city. None who wish to live in peace dare defy them. As long as you know your place, life can be pretty good here. 
open an umbrella, and the rain won't touch you. Wear a raincoat, and you can even take a girl cycling. You know what I mean, right? Kinda. I feel like there was some kind of in the window <laughs> in in that statement, but we're not we're not gonna concentrate on that. We're we're not. We're just gonna we're just gonna move on. <laughs> a while back, our detective agency used this building. But we were kicked out due to a contract dispute. Ah, oh, so now there's like only stragglers around, and that oh, and that's why their sign is kind of busted, because they don't really do anything anymore. They they'd be kind of taken out of power, but they must have enough power to threaten Swank like that. The owner claimed renting the building out to detectives made the place unpopular. In Kanai Ward, detectives aren't even allowed to have their own offices. Well, that's shitty. Really? I don't know what the WDO is thinking, but I don't want this town to change. It should stay the way it is. It deserves some peace and quiet. Yeah, and that's why the landlord is like, look, I need y'all to get the hell out of my building. Um, nobody's coming here. Um... You're, you're kind of disturbing things, you're, you know, and I don't need that crap. I need y'all to leave. And that's why this time around, I don't want any trouble. It's not easy to negotiate with these people. Okay, so he's kind of given up. Like, he's just like, I just want to live peacefully in this city. I don't, I don't want to cause any problems. I still have power to do so, I just choose not to. He, he's kind of low-key given up on being a detective and he just wants he just wants people to live in peace um i heard that kanai ward has a lot of unsolved mysteries screams are part of the daily noise around here they're kind of like church bells marking sunset oh my god whenever someone's smiling in that building someone else in town is weeping Dang, that's sad. However, we can't go punching the guy who's smiling. We can only offer a handkerchief to those in tears before quietly slipping away. And nothing more is needed anyway. We're not superheroes or anything. We're just detectives. Just detectives, he says. But he has the resigned smile of someone who's given up. Yeah, I was, I'm getting that vibe, uh, too. Like, he's just given up. He's like, fuck it. We, we can't change nothing here. As much as we would like to, there's nothing we can do. They ran us out of power. They ran us out of our building. We, we got nothing besides our badge. It's... This is probably why the, the, the WDO requested, like, fresh faces, because... They probably realize the detectives here no longer have any power. They're just, they just given up and wallowing in sadness. And so they're like, hey, we need fresh blood to go here because y'all are becoming kind of useless. That look tells me exactly the kind of place Kanai Ward is, in a way words couldn't begin to describe. This buzzhead dude comes off like an irresponsible geezer. Yeah, he does. But there's an ominous aura around him. You only end up like that if you've seen death all the time. Could it be because of this city? Maybe. Or maybe it's his old man stench. <laughs> huh? Something wrong? Is there something on my gorgeous face? Back in the day, I was rather popular with the ladies. <laughs> You may think that means I'm no longer so popular. And you'd be right. Oh my god. <laughs> he said, I've got, I said, I got no luck with the ladies. I got no luck in this town. I don't got luck in my work. I don't got luck nowhere. The rain, it never stops. Does it rain often here? Oh, this stuff? Fatalists would tell you that all rain must come to a stop. But for the past few years, the rain in our town hasn't stopped falling. Um, 
shouldn't it be flooded by now then? I mean, if it's just easy going rain like this, I can understand why it hasn't flooded, but if it would like like flood I mean not flood, rain ain't any harder. You must have a really good train system for not having any floods and you know no one's rowing a boat across the city by now. For years? That's not natural rain. And there's probably a machine in the sky or something like that. Yeah, years. It started around, oh, three years ago? Weird, huh? Thanks to that, we have no need for weather forecasts. Because <laughs> you know what the weather is going to be. Yes, we have a slight chance of rain and uh, another chance of rain. And tomorrow we have rain. All next week, rain. <laughs> A city where it's always raining. No wonder things are so dark and damp here. The rain sure has changed things around here. Both the city and the people, too. Supposedly, there's something in the rain that messes with our bodies and the environment. But it's all hearsay. No one knows why the rain never lets up. But it probably has something to do with Amaterasu. Yeah. Kanai Ward. It's such a bizarre place. <laughs> bizarre, huh? Uh, you're not gonna make it here if you find this shocking. Oh, jeez. You'll be seeing a lot of strange things in this city, I'll tell you that much. But there's no need to overcomplicate things. Everything is just an illusion in the rain. Just think of it that way, and you'll be fine. Okay, this statement is important because why is it marked yellow? Everything is just an illusion in the rain. I'm I'm kind of thinking of it as normal. You know, you know, like uh, like you have a painting and it's in the rain and it just washes away. I think that's probably what he kind of means. Like you think you have something, and but really it's just an illusion. Trust me. It's easier this way. Oh, jeez, you've definitely given up. Uh, you, Yuma, um, you're gonna have to put a little, uh, pep back in his step. A, uh, a spark leading to a fire under his ass. Because... We are already a magnet for trouble, so we need him to, like, be back on point. Is it? Well, now that I've finished showing you the town, let's head to the agency. Is it there really much of an agency at this point? This place. There's a lot more to it than I thought. Obviously, she would love this place. She's a death god in ghost form in a gloomy, toxic palette type of town. Like, of, of course she would love a place like this. That always rains. She would love it here. This is perfect for her. Hmm? What do you mean? Oh, it smells so good. It's like there's a florist on every corner! Yuma, that means she smells death already. And we just got here. Really? I don't see any florists. I didn't mean it literally. To me, nothing smells sweeter than the stench of death! Yep, knew it. The stench of death? There are gruesome mysteries all over this place! That sounds so ominous. Yeah, it is. I mean, everything about this place is ominous. From the trip here to this very moment, everything is ominous. Like, nothing is going to get better. I've been pretty sure everything's just going to get worse. Okay? And I don't know how we could get any worse because we just went through a very traumatic and dark situation. So... <laughs> hey! The elevator's here! Right, keep coming. I'm gonna have to look into everybody's voice actors because everyone sounds so damn familiar. It is bothering me. I already searched the things to look up, so we're just gonna walk off. Now then. Yes. Oh, okay. Oh, right. No need to be so nervous. There's nothing dangerous here, anyway. 
these wait a little longer. Yes, I'm ready. Yes, I'm ready. I already looked everywhere on the balcony, so... Or on the rooftop, not balcony. This area is called Kamasaki District. It's the busiest and messiest place in all of Ganai Ward. In other words, it's a lively area. The neon looks magical blurred in the rain. If there really is an illusion in the rain, I think it'd be the streetlights. I don't have any memories of this scenery, but... It still makes me all nostalgic. You, you're probably like raised Perhaps here or something like that. I'm from a city like this one. Mm -hmm. Or maybe if you formed my mind into a shape, it looked like this place. I thought that was. <laughs> hey, isn't it weird how it's not flooded? Yes. And how it's always raining here? Yes, I was worried that too. It looks like they have a good drainage system. See? There's a drain leading to a pipe over there. That kind of thing creeps me out. Just imagine what would happen if I got sucked in there. Hey! There's a clown in the sewer staring at you! Oh my god, they're going to see it right now. Uh, a clown? <laughs> Made you look! Can I go over here or no? Are you are you gonna stop me? Yeah, you're gonna stop me. I explained briefly, but basically, Amaterasu Corp picks on detectives. My colleagues and hired assistants all quit. Dang. They said working here as a detective was simply impossible. So you've been working as the only detective for the whole city ever Jeez. since? It's not like I can change careers. I'm a WDO detective, after all. Clients trust me to do the job. Although, most of my requests involve infidelity or finding lost pets. What? What about unsolved mysteries? The peacekeepers get to handle that. Detectives don't even get close. Oh, interesting. But now, things could be different since you're all here. All? Yeah, you said like there's multiple people. Yeah, we got a feeling things will be a bit stuffy moving forward. He said you all. Who else is here? We work in the sewer. Bruh. Um, is your agency up ahead? Oh my god, we work in the sewer. <laughs> they, they not only do these these peacekeepers call us shit, they they tell us to go work in shit. Like, yo, this is so disrespectful. <laughs> like I said earlier, detectives aren't allowed to work in a proper office. Yeah, I can work. see that. Must we travel this nauseating path? I'm too blue-blooded for this. The other master detectives are already waiting at the agency. You're the last to join us. Other master detectives? But everyone on the train died. Thanks to that hitman hired by Amaterasu. The WDO anticipated interference. They prepared multiple routes for entry into Kanai War. Oh. They covered their bases. Other master detectives arrive from routes besides the Amaterasu Express. Both official and unofficial members traveled through these various routes. I see. So it wasn't just the Amaterasu Express. Oh, so we're Express. just the only one that got fucked. Amaterasu Corporation caught on and tried to interfere on all the routes. Oh, never mind. Granted, they deny any involvement. Some routes were completely stamped out. Yours barely made it. That 
tragedy happened to others, too. Excluding you, there are four others who survived. Unfortunately, a lot of sacrifices were made. Yeah. But as a result, you could say master detectives of the highest caliber have been gathered here. Each of you did outsmart Amaterasu and made it here after all. Yeah, true. The highest caliber? Hearing Master get complimented really annoys me. <laughs> what? Why? I wonder what these surviving Master Detectives are like. So exciting, so mysterious. Oh my god. Yeah, so they probably like want revenge at this point. They said all the things you made us do. Just to get here? Oh, we coming for your ass. So I won't be surprised if they're pissed. And the fact that WDO didn't say that, hey, you might get interference or you might die getting here. Yeah, bet money some of them are angry. Loading screen, loading screen, oh, I love loading screens. Here we are. Okay, so we don't work in the sewer. Great. Um, where's the agency? <laughs> ah! It's right here. But there's nothing. All right. Remember this, Yuma. The most important things cannot be seen by the eye. It's underwater? Yo. All right, it's kind of neat. All right, all right. They said we can't get actual buildings and we're not working underground. Uh, so we got to figure some them out. Welcome to the Nocturnal Detective Agency. Nocturnal? <laughs> what, you expected something a bit tidier? I guess I wouldn't call this place clean myself. But isn't it awesome? Our own submarine! Yeah. Is this really it? Our office is a sub? <laughs> You've been assigned to a sink. Of a detective agency. Yeah, it, it's literally in different senses of the word a sinking ship because all the tents beside him gave up and the, the WDO had to bring more help in because they're just like, okay, we gotta do something about this. Loading screen, loading screen. Log ass <laughs> loading screen. God dang! Yo, y'all need to do something about these loading screens. This is ridiculous. One year later. One century later. Oh, he took his coat off. He looks like he was just in a brawl at a different angle. If you look at him from a different angle. Like, look, it looks like a blood splatter. She's counting candies? Wait, he's in the fireplace reading. Why? Thanks for waiting, everyone. Our final new member has arrived at last. Watch it! Don't just come barging in here. S sorry. What are you talking about? This is my detective agency, isn't it? Yeah, I was like, aren't you the boss? Why are you apologizing? Victory is mine. Pay up. Okay. 
wanted to hold on. That doesn't count. It was an accident thanks to the chief barging in here. Nonsense. You should have expected him to return from his errand. Moreover, you should have realized he was back when our submarine resurfaced. <sighs> and when you put it like that... With my logic, anything is possible. Her hairstyle reminds me of someone, and I can't remember who it is. Um, what are they fighting about? Hey, what are you doing with those matches? No fire is allowed on my sub. It's just a little game. He strikes the matches one by one. He wins if he lights ten in a row. But if he fails even once, I win. And he failed. Thus, I get all the cash. Hang on, it was lit. The chief opened the door, which blew it out. I succeeded in lighting it, so the game continues. The uh, next is the seventh, right? Hey, ref, how many matches was it? Uh, you can check by counting the number of chocolates on the table. Sure thing. Oh my god. You know what she reminds me of? She kind of, like, with her blue hair and her eyes and everything, she kind of reminds me of the idol in the first Dong and Rumpa game. Like, like, I wouldn't be surprised if this was a cousin or her older sister. Hey, don't eat those for using them to count! How many are we missing now? Two or three? Come on, princess. How many did you eat? Be honest. Uh... Two... Or three... Uh, what comes after three? Oh, God. <laughs> I never remember since I so rarely count that high. What? Please give me just a moment to recall it. Wait, you, ne you never counted above three? You rarely count above three? What? What do you do? Ugh, it's all ruined. Um, why don't you count the number of matchsticks you've used instead? Oh, right! Uh, I'll just count the matchsticks in the ashtray. Why the hell are there so many? Didn't you say no open flames are allowed in here? <laughs> it's harder to quit than you think. Oh my god. No open flames, but I get to smoke. Okay, yeah, that's fair. Aha! Uh -huh. I remember the number four comes after three. So the answer is four. I love her tear tattoo, but this uh this game has a bit of a fetish for lip piercings. Like everyone seems to have a lip piercing. So far I think there's been Including her, three characters by far that we see with lip piercings. Huh? But there is still a chocolate missing. Hang on, there were more than four to begin with. Did you eat another one? Yeah, she did. <laughs> You're eating it right now! She she's eating to regain her memory, okay? <laughs> it is too delicious! So this is what commoners eat. Oh, Interesting. No. She's a rich girl. <sighs> it is simply heavenly. Anyway, time to pay up. Enough. I'm using my authority as chief to end this game. And no more gambling. Do you understand you're in con, I ward? Don't give the peacekeepers any reasons to drop in on us. Will they drop in because they're having a gambling match in a submarine that they probably don't even know about? Virtue, honesty, and sting the hell out of trouble. That's our motto here at Nocturnal Detective Agency, got it? That's the opposite of, of how we get shit done. I'm not saying you can't use, like, honesty you can stay there, virtue you can stay here, but staying out of trouble? Being a detective will get you nothing but trouble. 
It's because you get in trouble that you end up solving cases. Yeah, this man has... Like, what? what is the point of him having all these people in the agency if he doesn't want them to do anything? That's what it's sounding like. He's like, I want y'all here, but I want you to change this, but I want y'all to stay out of trouble. It's just like, that's contradicting orders. Like, how do we do that? Now then, I'd like to introduce you to our final team member. Yuma Coco Head. A round of applause, please. Can't take you seriously with that last name. Nice to meet you all. I was hoping they'd be amazing detectives, but they all look kind of dumb. I wonder which one of them will die first. Him or me? Hey, knock it off! They managed to get past Amaterasu's attacks. I'm sure they're all amazing. The only person that hasn't talked yet is the one in the fireplace. I, I would like for him to speak. I can't really see him that close because the plant. Yuma, let me introduce everyone to you. First, the one sitting over there is Halara Nightmare, a great master detective. The first to arrive at Kanai Ward. I love her name. Why couldn't you get a name like that? The little match boy over there is Desuhiko Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt? Pikachu Thunderbolt! Wait, who's the match boy? <laughs> no, he's a living Pikachu because he's got the cheek and everything. Oh no! <laughs> the beautiful lady next to him is Fubuki Clockford. She is the heiress to the famous Clockford family. A pleasure to meet you. And the one inside the fireplace? What? Fireplace? But why there of all places? He says it's calming in there. Anyway, his name is Vivia Twilight. Hey, nice to meet you. AKA, Nagito's secret love child. <laughs> you can't tell me that doesn't look like Nagito. Right, now that we're all here, Let's have a seat. Sit down right here. No, I'm gonna talk to everybody first. Come here, Pikachu. <laughs> Everyone on the train died besides you? That sucks. Had I been on the Amaterasu Express, I would have solved it before anything had gone down. Knowing how much you love fire, you probably would have been the first one to die. Damn! Missed the chance to show off my superstar self. This short stack is so arrogant! I hate his guts! <laughs> She's like, I hate him. So you're the survivor from the Amaterasu Express Massacre. You don't look like much. That's thanks to yours truly! Otherwise, Master would have died right away! <sighs> They're all underestimating him, but they will soon learn. Yuma, do you like chocolate? I yeah, a bit. Did you know that chocolate grows on cacao trees? Yes, I did know that. The sight of all those trees with their shining silver fruit must be so splendid. Are they silver? I think the silver part is just the wrapper. Okay, I was just like, I'm pretty sure they're not silver. What are you imagining? Huh? Does it not grow on the tree like this? No. Ah, I see. I thought I was peeling back its silvery husk. She thought she was eating nuts from a tree. And she thought their wrapping was the shell. Oh my god. 
<laughs> what a misunderstanding to make for an adventurer such as myself. No, you can't say you're an adventurer. You don't even know that chocolates are not nuts from a tree. You have been inside and you've been sheltered for a very, very long time. Adventurer? Correct. I am an adventurer and a detective. It is nice to make your acquaintance. Nice to meet you too. You purposely came over to talk to me? You're so kind, Yuma. <laughs> Are you anything like Nagito other than your hair? You look like the emo goth. Oh, I hate to say both because. Okay. You look like the emo <laughs> version of Nagito. Are you a brother? Do you guys come from the same family? Cousin? Don't worry. They aren't avoiding me or anything. Okay. I prefer to be alone. A place like this gives me a sense of peace and quiet. Alright, introvert. Alright, gotcha, gotcha. Don't worry about it. You know what's even funny? His last name was Twilight. <laughs> and it just makes me think of the book and the movie Twilight. Just... I swear, if he opens his mouth and there's fangs and he says he's a vampire, I truly wouldn't even be surprised. <sighs> I wanna die someday. Oh my god. I have no idea what to say to him. He's like, I... Away, you must just walk away. Now, I probably can't leave the room, but let's try. Oh, I can leave the room. This place. This must be the shower. Wow, to think there's even something like this. Say. Heads up, Master. You're too dense to notice, but Fuzzhead and the gang are watching you like hawks. Oh, yeah, we should head back soon. Or I'm gonna look at more things. That's not the right way. Okay, you can't, okay. Now, all remaining agents sent to the Nocturnal Detective Agency are here. Now, there are a lot less of you than what we originally planned. Yeah. Well, regardless of how many people we would have gotten, we'd still be no match against the Peacekeeper's numbers. So, we'll keep laying low down here, and avoid provoking them, as we've been doing. What? Then what's the point of us being here? Huh? You want to stay submerged in this filthy river? I didn't come here to rot like sewage! I want to make a grand entrance, so all unsolved mysteries and become a superstar detective oh and once i'm rich and famous i'll make you all my assistants wow in con i ward solving cases won't make you famous all information is controlled by the peacekeepers they simply conceal anything that's inconvenient to them. If you want to be famous in this town, it's much easier if you're a villain. I see. Got it. Wait, don't actually do it! <laughs> don't instigate anything with those guys. Got it? I mean, have you guys ever tried, like, infiltration? Like, disguise, try to become, like, a worker inside the corporation or any of their affiliate parties or something like that? Have you tried everything? Because I feel like you haven't, sir. <laughs> I'm just kidding around. 
Why is the WDO gathering master detectives in Kanai Ward? What do they want us to do? Honestly, I don't know what the WDO is thinking either. I just found out about this recently myself. You didn't receive any instructions? They just said come here and figure it out. Not yet, at least. I'm hoping they'll call us eventually. Well, remember how the letter said <laughs> duration is indefinite, meaning don't come back. This is like your permanent, the permanent place until we say otherwise. But before that, there's something I need to verify first. Yuma, it's about you. Okay, what do you want to know? Huh? Me? I heard the peacekeepers talking and learned about it back then, but... Oh, he probably wants to know, like, why was the number of detectives off? Do you really have amnesia? Oh, never mind. Huh? <laughs> amnesia? Yeah, seems like I do. I don't remember anything from before getting on the Amaterasu Express. Then you and I are alike. We are amnesia buddies, Yuma. What, she has amnesia too? Huh? Fubuki, you too? Indeed. I cannot remember what I had for breakfast. I cannot even recall how I got here. <laughs> That's just poor memory, okay? That's not the same. Uh, I think you're just forgetful. Don't make things even more complicated. My apologies. What is the source of your amnesia? Is Amaterasu Corporation responsible? No, uh, it doesn't seem likely. I was still at the station when I woke up. So you really don't remember anything? Well, I'm surprised you got past Amaterasu's attacks like that. I probably can't tell him it's thanks to the pact I made with the Death God. You better not. Talking about me breaks the contract. I think I was just lucky. The Chief saved me in the end. Well, you can work off your debt to me. So you really don't know who you are? In other words, you don't remember if you're a detective? That's correct. Oh, but I do have a letter from the WDO. And this outfit is definitely mine because it fits perfectly. I don't doubt you. That's not what I'm worried about. I've already verified your identity. Huh? You know who I am? I didn't just daydream in the park and feed pigeons while y'all were heading here. Oh, so he looked into I us. checked the routes everyone used and provided support wherever I could. Unfortunately, most of the info was kept secret, so supporting you was all I could do. I mean, it makes sense, because if he knew the information about who was coming here, so did uh, Absamuro Court. So yeah, I can see why it was so, like, tight-lipped. At the very least, I did manage to obtain info about the Amaterasu Express. Then again, it was mostly thanks to Halara and Desuhiko since they arrived so early. I got the passenger list from Amaterasu Corporation using my special forte. That ability is top secret, so uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you about it just yet. Your name was on the passenger list, Yuma. Once we knew your name, obtaining more information was easy. I researched the histories of everyone on the list. Doesn't sound like something you need to hear. What? Of course it is! I might finally get to learn about my past! Uh, uh, is there not much of a past? So, who am I? The truth might surprise you, but... Among the master detectives registered at the WDO, no individual with the name Yuma Cocohead exists. What? What do you mean? Five master detectives were summoned to the Amaterasu Express. 
That is an undisputable fact. Okay. But a detective in training was also summoned. Oh, so he's not an official detective. He's still in training. Detective in training? That's you, Yuma. Looks like you've been working toward being a detective at the WDO. You may be part of the organization, but you haven't earned your stripes just yet. So, I'm not really a master detective yet? <laughs> that sounds about right. You never fail to amuse me, master. Despite that, I know for sure you'll be an integral part of our team. I reviewed your profile in the WDO records, and it turns out you have a phenomenal ability. Oh, so now you're about to reveal that ability? An ability? So I do have some sort of special power too? Your record claims that you're a great cook. Would you mind making us breakfast from now on? I'm, I was about to throw my controller at the screen. <laughs> like, yo, tell us, like I can pretty much guess what it is by now, but don't do that. Your leg is made. I don't know if I can. I don't have any memories about cooking. Never mind. Did my profile mention anything else? Like where I used to live or my personal history? It didn't have any details of the sort. You see, you've got a trainee's profile, not a proper master detective's. I see. Because remember what he said when we were walking here? He said official and unofficial members were like gathering here. So yeah. So then now that puts up why the number was odd. It was just, they never said that a detective in training was heading here. You know, trainees are kind of like appetizers at a restaurant, don't you think? I guess that makes you the appetizer detective! <laughs> smack her. She just smack her and then she just just bounces all over the, the room and we just pretend like nothing's happening. We just continue our conversation. Um. Don't worry, I'll do my best to train you from the ground up to be a great detective. What's wrong? There's nothing to feel ashamed about. Everyone starts off as a trainee. Also, not everyone can use their forte from the get-go. Though some are born rather gifted. Still, no matter how much talent you have, you require the right training to make the most use of your abilities. No matter how smart they are or how dexterous their fingers, no surgeon dives straight into surgery. I mean, that's true. The same goes for master detectives. If you want to do things the right way, you have to learn it. So everyone here also trains at the World Detective Organization? The WDO requires a two-year training period for all agents, no exceptions. During that time, the agent's paranormal disposition is honed into a forensic forte, specializing in investigation. And those who manage to develop their forte are certified as master detectives. I'm just gonna say right now, I don't want to get attached to these characters because if it ends up like the last characters, you know, and I'll get, he's like, I don't get any bonding time and they just, you know, die one by one. I'm going to be so mad. So I'm just kind of like, hmm. I'm kind of, kind of nervous. I'm like, hmm, y'all gonna live through this entire game or not? Like me. Plus, once you become a master detective, you get a detective deed from the WDO. By the way, not all detectives working for the WDO are master detectives. There are regular detectives, like myself, who don't have fortes. Oh, really? So you're, so you're a master detective without a forte? I still got my detective deed. It doesn't say master detective on it, but it still holds the same weight. Okay, so you're just a detective. You're a normal one. A master just had this one with a forte. A forte mostly depends on innate talent. 
Some people will never develop it, no matter how much effort they put in. But that doesn't mean they can't be a detective. Anyone can get a detective deed as long as they complete their training. So, is that my case as well? I don't think I have any special abilities. Yuma, you don't remember feeling heartbeats? I mean, not feeling heartbeats, hearing heartbeats and sensing the uh, Apex's radar detection ability? You don't remember that? You don't remember being the only one that could sense it? There is no record about your forte. You could be like me and have no special powers. I knew it. Who cares about that? You've got me, Master. I mean, that's true. Not only do you do have a forte, but you have a death god on your shoulder. Like, you are more special than anyone in the room right now. Look, there's no need to be so down about having no forte of your own. That has nothing to do with whether you're a good detective or not. Even a kid or a delinquent can be a master detective if they're good at one thing. But detectives with no special abilities must pass basic testing with flying colors before they're certified. So, in fact, you could say those without special abilities make better detectives. Oh, you're just tooting your own horn, old man. But being both a capable detective and a master detective would be even better. Such as myself. You're tuning your own horn too! Anyway, whether you have an ability or not, the fact remains that you've been striving to be a detective. So, I wanted to be a detective. Pretty much. Also, keep in mind that despite being a trainee, you were given a directive. That's pretty impressive. Yep, yeah, that is true. Like, you weren't even an official member and you were already getting orders to, like, go to this high-profile place with all these mysteries. You know, be, like, in, like, like, to go to the destination of root of all evil in this world. Like, you were already told to come here as a trainee, which means someone knew something about you. You hold so much promise that you got sent here. They said, fuck it, we don't care he's a trainee. Send him here. He's gonna do great. You must be quite capable. I mean, master detectives were killed, but you managed to survive. I'm not sure if that's right. I am sure you shall eventually remember all that you have forgotten, Yuma. Although, I still do not remember what I oh ate my this God. morning, let alone yesterday's Please! <laughs> you just have... You're just very forgetful and you have a poor memory. You don't have amnesia. It was raining. It's always raining. Yeah, it's always raining. Oh, right. <laughs> Is she this dumb on purpose? I think she's putting on an act. I can't tell if it's an act or she really is that dumb. Maybe she's a giant skank. Oh my god. <laughs> it's boom kill time if you fall for her, master. Oh my god. I didn't do anything. She's acting like she, like, like she's uh, his girlfriend. He's like, I swear if you fall for her, I'll beat the shit out of you. By the way, my agency treats both trainees and detectives as the same thing. To all you master detectives, you better not drop your guard or the rookie here is gonna steal your thunder. Got it? <laughs> Go ahead and try. Too bad for you, rookie. I'm gonna take all the medals. I have no desire to compete. <laughs> you senior detectives sure are a handful. Vivia, anything you'd like to say to the newbie? Is he sleeping? No, not really. Oh my god, that face. <laughs> I know it's meant to be a pleasant smile, but... The, the, the way his face is just, his expression makes it look kind of creepy. A call? That's the direct line to the World Detective Organization. So, they're finally contacting us. All communication in Kanai Ward is shut out from the outside world. So that phone is 
rather special. Oh. And obviously, it's kept secret from the Amaterasu folk. Yeah, because they would probably try to like listen in or shut it down. If they're contacting us, maybe they'll finally give us our orders. Go ahead, rookie. Huh? You want me to answer? Master! Okay. Oh, I can still hear the phone. Oh, don't forget this stuff. Let's continue and answer this phone call. I wonder what they're about to say. No, wait, bef No, I already did save. Okay, should be fine, should be fine. Oh, it's a TV? Um, hello, Nocturnal Detective Agency. Please state your business. Good work, all of you. I assume everyone is present. Can they see us or no? So few of you survived. Far less than I anticipated, but considering who survived, this should suffice. Wait, so he was expecting more of us to die? What the hell? Who's this grandpa? He acts like he's hot shit. He probably is. Well, beats me. I've never seen him before. My contact is usually someone totally different. Oh, never mind then. I thought you knew who this was. Perhaps he dialed the wrong number? What is your forte? What do you do? I, I have to know. Like, there's no way you're completely useless. No, uh, that's impossible. This is a direct line to the WDO. Um, who are you? Would you mind telling us your name? A name? Yeah. Unfortunately, I discarded my name long ago. Give us something. You want to call CEO, Presidente, like, what, what, what do you want call, uh, Grandfather, the Great Sage? Pick a title. Anything. Now, I simply go by number one. I'm sure you've heard of me. That smirk. That smile he has. Number one? You're joking! Seriously? Oh, so he's- he's a- He's up there in the chain of command, really up there, if they're starting to panic like this. Uh, my sincerest apologies for my rude behavior. I didn't expect number one himself to appear. This must be very serious business. Is he a big deal or something? Oh my god. Number one is the top master detective. Leader of the World Detective Organization. Okay, so he he's literally at the top seat here. Like, you can't go any higher than him. The top detective of the WDO? He rarely ever shows himself. Thus, no one knows his true identity. He is only known among detectives as... Number one. He's the top of the World Detective Organization? It's just some old man. Oh. <laughs> hey! I am here to give those of you who arrived your instructions. There is a dangerous secret lurking here, which we refer to as Kanai Ward's ultimate secret. Kanai Ward's ultimate secret? However, Kanai Ward's ultimate secret isn't a problem affecting only this city. There is a chance it relates to the ongoing great global mystery. Which is what, exactly? Hence why I chose to deliver your orders directly. Move swiftly to investigate Kanai Ward's ultimate secret. Doing so will assist us in solving the great global mystery. That is all. Huh? That's it? How about some clues? Why do you think you're there? If 
if you're a detective, search for clues yourself. Exactly. Like, if the man had clues already, he would have either solved it himself or given it to y'all. The fact that he doesn't have anything other than the fact that we know these people are up to something really, really sketchy that's affecting the entire world, like, should say something. Providing any information beforehand will merely result in misconceptions. Uh, understood. Do you recall the World Detective Organization's creed? A detective must never overlook a mystery. Any and all truths must be exposed. A detective must always prioritize solving a case. Emotions must be discarded to reach a perfect solution through a perfect deduction. Okay, you're kind of sounding like, um, that guy from Ace Attorney. Yeah, you know that's who I'm talking about? Um, old man, gray, uh, gray hair, uh, always, like, I need perfect evidence, perfect case, perfect vi uh, verdict in Ace Attorney. Yeah, the, their creed kind of reminds me of that. I heard that every single day during training, but it's not something you can easily put into practice. Is that true, Master? I don't remember at all. Mysteries are the greatest threat to humanity. The WDO will not allow mysteries to go unsolved. They shall be eradicated with sagacious wit and indomitable will. We must guide the lost souls of victims to paradise in the name of truth. Go forth, proud detectives. Eliminate all mysteries from this world. <laughs> yep, that's exactly how I pictured someone was writing that last sentence in that letter. Go forth, proud detectives. Eliminate all the mysteries from this world. Like, it was someone, like, super dramatic. He's just like, ah. Uh. Hey, did you hear that? We got a direct order from number one. We play our cards right. We're guaranteed to get promoted. <laughs> I'm hyped. It isn't so simple. Just look at how much we sacrificed to get you here. Kanai Ward's ultimate secret must have something to do with Amaterasu Corporation. Which means we have to snoop on them. They're gonna wipe us out! Oh my god, calm down, man. This dude's got PTSD. So, it's a full-on war, then. Hmm. The WDO is serious. War is awful! I myself am a pacifist! Well, it's something we have to do from here on! There you go again with your jokes! No, it's not a joke, like... Do your job, <laughs> or get the fuck out. <laughs> Fubuki, were you listening? Huh? I was. However, I was also lost in my own thoughts. Oh my god, so she wasn't really listening. You weren't listening then! So, Chief, any ideas about Kanai Ward's ultimate secret? This place has so many secrets that I have no idea where to start. But one thing that comes to mind is this unending rain, I think. He said that it has something to do with the great global mystery, too. I have no clue what that is. So you don't know what that is? Nobody knows what that is? But he said it like it, like it was common knowledge. For now, let's sneak into Amaterasu Corp and start gathering up info. That's what I was thinking too, like y'all haven't tried that tactic, some espionage, trying to like, get up close and personal to see what this is. Don't you dare do anything dangerous like that. It's not like they're leaving secrets in easy to reach spots. And it also tells me that you haven't tried everything within your power as a detective to solve every mystery that has come your way. You have truly given up. What are we supposed to do? You really want to know? The right thing to do is absolutely nothing. Then why did you... Well, no, you didn't want us here. You were just told to bring us here. But 
to come over here and to do absolutely nothing. That's not gonna solve anything. Jeez! How did it end up like this? Oh, come on. You need to snap out of it, Chief. I've got a bad feeling about all this. Who would have guessed number one would show up? Ah! All I wanted was to sink quietly into the river. Are things really that bad? Yeah, lives are at stake here. Danger is a daily occurrence in all of Kanai Ward. I'm used to wagering my life like poker chips. It feels like my path. Maybe for you, but I'm not that way. Who said I wanted that? I got it. Let's pretend like we didn't hear a thing. What in the world? No, I know that's impossible. <laughs> Given the sacrifices that were already made, the WDO can't back down now. Uh, I guess we have no choice. Chief Yako. Everything that goes down in this city is handled by the peacekeepers of Amaterasu Corporation. They simply fabricate or cover things up in whatever way's most convenient for them. In other words, the truth they're hiding may be connected to Kanai Ward's ultimate secret. Some of these cover-ups may be clues for unsolved mysteries, then. But there are tons of cases where they covered up the truth. Then what we need to do is clear! Huh? Don't stare at me, dumbfounded rookie. We've got to crush each unsolved mystery one by one. What? All of them? Yes, all of them. I suppose <laughs> that's one way to solve whatever's going on. Oh, fine. All right, listen up. We're going to have to cause a little chaos is basically what he's saying. Truth be told, I wish this day had never come. But part of me knew that it was inevitable. Our goal now is to expose Kanai Ward's ultimate secret. We'll be up against Amat, so please, be extremely careful. Hey, I need to get that. We don't know what these guys will do to interfere with us. That said, you all survived the deadly trip to get here, so I'm sure you're up to the challenge. We've been trapped in this rain for a long time now, but it's time to put an end to that. Please, help me save this city. I mean, we were going to, regardless if you were with us or not. You heard him, Master. I love it. Things are getting interesting. <laughs> Miss Beautiful. <sighs> He's just like, what have I gotten myself into? In the unending rain, through the winding neon cityscape, draped in my raincoat, I roam in search of my missing memories. What secrets God lurk dang. in this labyrinth of drainage pipes? Oh, fuck you. We have yet to find the answer. The story oh, of detectives God. facing the darkness that enshrouds the truth is about to begin. Uh, zombies? I don't know what that last part was about.
Oh, that was nice. I'm gonna have to still look into those voice actors because Bet Money, it was probably a familiar name and it probably just went over my head. Yes, yeah, so I'd love to save. At last, chapter one. <laughs> it's, been, it's been a wild ride. I can't believe that was all chapter zero. That was all basically tutorial. That's all that was tutorial and lore. Like, oh my god. This game is probably long. If that, if the tutorial, if the prologue is that long, imagine how long the chapters are. Oh my god. What is this, like a memory? The faint sound of a ticking clock melts against the sound of rain. Is that the timbre of water splashing a ship in the night? Or is it the sound of a wedge driven into the wheel of fate? Uh, what's happening? Oh god. Oh, the pink Every blood! the vault's door closes. You still do have it. I search again for a reason to open it. Are you crying or sweating? The nail man killings? Someone's nailing people to the floor? I thought that was like a memory for him or something like that. I was like, oh man, this is dark art. Got some nice sleep. <sighs> no one's here yet? It's just about time, I think. And to be fair, their type are rarely on time anyway. Master detectives are all weirdos. Did you get a good night's sleep, Yuma? Not really. What? But I gave you time to rest at the office. Your brain won't work right without enough sleep. Be more like me. Even today, my mind is crystal clear, although it doesn't get much use. <laughs> Wait a minute. What if that dream was like a vision of like the future or something like that? Does he have like multiple powers? Uh, huh. To think that Master had to sleep on such a filthy sofa. The other master detectives are staying at a hotel, right? That's no fair. I'm totally jealous. Why do they get a hotel and I get a dirty sofa? That's discrimination. They said detectives and trainees would be treated equally. For now, how about you wash your sleepy face? You can't work as a detective when your mind is hazy. If you want to wash your face, use the tap in the kitchen. Wait, it says there's... Uh... This is the chief bed, and I'm pretty sure 9 times out of 10, he gets up from his bed and hits his head right on that shelf. That money. <laughs> Master? Master gets the sofa while Fuzzhead gets the bed? How is that fair? Well, it's the chief's agency, so it makes sense for him to sleep in the bed. Uh, 
Okay, so there was something over here. This is... This looks like a, this looks like a map of Kaina Ward. The memos posted on it seem to be from cases the chief worked. Searching for stray cats, lost property, and a whole bunch of unimportant stuff. There doesn't seem to be any new memos. Has he not taken on cases lately? Yeah, because he's given up. Okay, there we go. Stamina up too. Reason definition. I don't have any strength information still. Like cooking, they actually put it dislikes amnesia. I bet likes detective notes, detective in training. Okay, a trainee detective with amnesia. His small, no, 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 we read all that before. Though framed by the fake Zilch as the culprit of the Amitsuru Express massacre, Yuma joined forces with Shingami, exposed to truth by entering the mysterious labyrinth. Shingai Okay, I read all that before. Shingai can open a path to the mysterious side, which is a manifestation of mysteries from the real world. The truth behind the mystery is revealed by solving the mystery labyrinth. The spelling it requires reaping the true culprit's soul, which results in their death in the real world. Can you imagine they're just going about their day and they just drop <laughs> You think like, oh I got away with it. Not Okay, it's the same thing, just a different picture. L okay, um... Made to imprint the... So he likes Kamasaki district meat buns, dislikes debt. <laughs> Is he in debt to somebody? Is that why that's there? Um, tap flair of negotiation. Yeah, because we saw a bit of that ability. He's very good at negotiating. A kind world native head of the Nocturnal Detective Agency. He lives an unhealthy, unkept, and unsanitary lifestyle. He understands the threat of Emmett Soros Corporation and Peacekeepers pose, but only thinks of how to avoid them. Even so, he cares a great deal for his companions. Oh, we, yeah, we don't know her. Likes cats and dogs, dislikes cruel con artists. Wait, the sharp wooded and attracted to has no specified gender? What? Oh my god, you're one of, <laughs> you're that uh, unisex type character that you see like in anime and everyone's trying to guess, is this a guy or a girl? I immediately assumed this was a, fem a female, okay? I thought this was a girl. Even the voice sounds female, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that will be revealed later down the line. Okay, then we got Pikachu. Ah, your name is now Pikachu. Every time I see you, your name is Pikachu. Your last name is Thunderbolt. <laughs> Somebody said, we're just gonna put a human Pikachu in this game. No one's gonna notice. 
No one's gonna know. No one's gonna know. They're gonna know. <laughs> Uh, likes cute girls, dislikes popular guys, dislikes popular guys, oh my god. Uh, Master Ted's dispatch in the eternal, the Ted's agency by the world, Ted's organization. His goal is to become famous as a mystery solving superstar detective. He often refers to training detective human as rookie. Yeah, he doesn't really see him as like a threat. I, I can't wait to see what she can do because there's no way she's this dumb. There's gotta be something about her that made her a candidate to come here. There's gotta be something. And I, th I think it's her forte and probably her connections as a rich girl. Probably her family is like super powerful and super rich. Plus her forte is probably awesome. And that's why she got sent here. Uh, he has pale skin and aesthetic atmosphere about him. Often lying down in various places, his person can be described as self-indulgent. He's just an introvert. He just he just wants to live his life. Likes fluffy pillows. Uh, dislikes hard pillows and, li and living <laughs> in this bio. I dislike. I dislike living. This what? April fourth. Oh my god. Like cigars, dislike sweets. Number one of Forte will never know. His true name is unknown. He almost never seen public. Ah, uh, <laughs> this dude right here. Speed eater. That's a talent. Dislikes fish. Okay. Wait. Update. What got updated? Oh, all of them. I'm so sorry, you guys. You got it. Other than that fake zilch, y'all didn't deserve this. Oh, there's some more. Okay. There's still more. Oh my god. There we go. Okay, that's probably where the sink is. Oh wait, nope. But I think I already clicked on this. Wow! Master! Jeez, way to kill the mood! What are you even talking about? Oh my god, she was gonna do something sneaky. <laughs> he said I can't work as a detective if my mind is hazy. Why do I want to become one in the first place? It's not like I have any special powers. Is there a reason why? Even if there was, Right now, I have no reason to try being a detective. I'm only pretending to be one to regain my memories. Is it right for me to pursue this if that's my goal? Master, there you go with that dumb poetic stuff again. It's not dumb. This is important to me. Case occurs. Oh no. Like it wouldn't happen otherwise? I wish that was the case. Uh, you're about to jinx yourself. Wait a minute, Yuma. You're good at cooking, right? Can you make something for me? Huh? Right now? Come on, man. I'm starving. Maybe if you do some expert cooking, it might rekindle your lost memories or something. Uh, I guess so. Right! So get out breakfast. Thanks. Wait, 
chief. What should I do? Give it a shot. Maybe your muscles will remember. Maybe. I guess I'll try. Oh man, look at him go. He cooked it up. He into it. Alright, done. Let's take it to Chief Yako. So why did the camera do it in that angle? Like, <laughs> why couldn't we like see what he was doing? Oh, this is looking pretty good. God, I hope Chief Yako likes my cooking. Chief, breakfast is ready. Hey, it smells nice. Let's see. Oh. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> I thought that might be the case. I was just like, did you just put ingredients? Now, uh, granted, it does look nice, but I was like, did you just put ingredients together and say here? <laughs> oh. Oh. He's gone pale. I hope he isn't dead. No way. Oh. He's like looking like, oh no, please don't die for my cooking. Uh, Chief? Are you alright? No! <laughs> <sighs> I thought I was a goner. <laughs> Look at Did his you face! Poison me? Why would I do that? I can't believe you'd say that after all the trouble I went through making it! Right. I basically forced you to make it. Sorry. Yuma, can you clean this up? Hmm. Oh, that went about as well as I expected. Master, if you ever wanna boom kill someone, you should just cook for them. Yeah. I think it'd be the perfect crime. What did my profile say I was good at cooking? It's probably a lie. It's probably something like you just made up on the fly. You, his past self probably like predict, uh, predicted his forte or something, or someone knew that it was, you know, something made up and just put it there. Forget about the cooking, Yuma. At least until you get your memories back. Yeah, I figured. Yesterday was such a surprise. I never thought there would be a directive from number one. To investigate Kanai Ward's ultimate secret. But it's dangerous. Amaterasu Corp won't sit idly by and let it happen. It's big trouble, all right. Look, I'm not saying I've been idle up until now. You kind of have. I tried investigating Amaterasu several times regarding some unsolved mysteries. They get pissed, and I get a lecture bordering on torture. They even confiscated my office. And, well, here I am now. Oh, so he was sniffing too much, and then they were like, okay, uh, we're gonna just take all your possessions to see if that, you know, you get the hint to back the fuck off. Why didn't the World Detective Organization help you? Probably because it takes a lot of manpower, energy, and it's quite dangerous to send people here. I mean, you barely got here yourself. And so did everybody else. I asked a few times, but they always waved me off. Turns out there were other cases which were higher priorities. And besides, ever since Kanai Ward became isolated from the world, we haven't been able to exchange much info. But what about your, like, direct phone? They didn't quite get how bad the place has gotten. But what made them investigate Kanai Ward to begin with? The Great Global Mystery must be a huge deal. Even number one is getting involved. Hey, isn't number one coming here? I thought he was at the WDO's headquarters. <laughs> you think I'd know? Number one is being hunted by criminal syndicates all over the world. His location is kept top secret. That's why he almost never shows up in public. 
It's super rare even to glimpse him on a screen. If he's that amazing, that's all the more reason he should come here. Don't you think they would go for his head if he ever tried? Yeah, fair enough. I'm sure that number one could solve this lickety split. The rumors say that once he decides to solve a case, he'll do everything perfectly on his own until it's solved. Perfectly on his own? He didn't seem all that impressive to me. Anyway, he's got his hands full on another case right now. He won't be able to leave that behind to visit Kanai Ward. We'll save our trump card for last. Until then, we'll add a few cards to our hand. That's why you all were called here. Wait, where are the others? Ah, at this rate, we'll never have enough hands. Jeez, everyone goes and does their own thing all the time. How about using a cell phone? Even if you can't contact the outside world, it'd still be useful in times like these. Didn't you remember him saying that the signal kind of goes dead when you get here? And no good. Risks the peacekeepers wiretapping you. Oh, so it can be used in here. It just can't be used outward. But I guess everything anybody says in the ta in the city is like wiretapped, or is at risk of being wiretapped. Okay, Yuma, you're getting your first job. A job? Get the other detectives assembled. I've rented out a special room at a hotel in Kamasaki District. My guess is that they still haven't left the hotel yet. Each master detective is quirky in their own way. Listen, Yuma, your job is to convince them to get over here. He says it's a job, but he just made you his errand boy. Fine, I'll head to their hotel. Thanks. Remember to avoid the peacekeeper's attention. Watch, we're about to get their attention. <laughs> Sure, hope you got all that down. Go. Oh. Meat bought a specialty of kind word and comfort food to the locals. It's loved by children and adults alike. Crime generally isn't bad here unless you venture deeper. <laughs> it's not bad here. Just don't go in the alleys. Or in basements. So your commemorative first job is an errand. Are you sure about this, Mr. Trey Detective? It's better than hiding out on the sub. True. By the way, Shinigami, what do you know about number one? Huh? Why do you ask? Uh-huh. That was suspicious. I was just curious. Wait. You know something, don't you? I know that geezer at all. I have standards, you know. Uh-huh, she knows him, but she won't reveal it. Besides, oh, what makes you think I know any humans personally? I mean, I'm a death god. The only people I meet are dead. Anyway, you should scope the city out while on your errand. Who knows, you might uncover Kanai Ward's ultimate secret. I don't think it's that simple. I still love your outfit though. Like, I love it. I love this new little outfit that he's got going on here. Keep out. But I live here. Ooh. Oh, I'm sorry. Freaking. <laughs> A bug just like flew into my face. Like another gnat, I swear. It's that same gnat from the last stream. Are you sleeping? Are you just taking a nap? <laughs> Look at that, Master! What? What? Where? There's something amazing over there! Go get it! Hurry! Is it moving? No. I'm looking at things. Hmm? Ah. It's kind of master. What? What is it? Mm. 
memory shard copper? Recall memories? Ah, oh, let me read it! Is this a Shinigami figurine? Why is it here? Don't worry your pretty little head about that. Stressing out about every teensy detail will make you go bald. But if you collect these figurines, you can get a peek at your memories, Master! Wait, it'll cure my amnesia? No, nope. I'm afraid everything from before you came to Kanai Ward is still off limits. Okay. Oh, what memories can I see then? Your memories with all the detectives and Buzzhead's agency. You guys talked about all sorts of stuff, right? Your memory. Um, what did we talk about again? See? You already forgot. You're completely hopeless, Master. If you want to know what you forgot about, then look for these figurines around the city. Finding them seems pretty tough, but I'll give it a shot. You can check all your recovered memories in the notebook. You know, the same place you check solution keys. I think I understand. Maybe. Maybe. Right on! Thinking you maybe understand is perfect. Oh, uh, there is one thing I should warn you about. Which is? You won't be able to check these memories while you're unable to move around freely or in a mystery labyrinth. Got it. Okay, so sometimes you can't use them. Shinigami's tutorial corner! Memory shards that look like me are scared, uh, scared across Kain world. Master's got secret memories stashed away! <laughs> Do you see where it says Gumshoe, Gumshoe Gab? Oh my god, that's such a jab at Gumshoe from Ace Attorney. Oh my god. Clever shirts to watch episode featuring the other types is under Gumshoe Cap. Oh my god. Yo, check, check. That is too funny. Search about Kanye World and collect all the scary cute memory shards. Please something yours truly. Okay, um. Oh, okay, it's over here. You said in the same place where the keys were. That's where I'm looking. Secret memories stashed away. Here's a hint. View this memory. Demon Lord, thanks so much for the raid. Thank you so much! How are you doing, by the way? How was your stream? <sighs> so this is just a random memory that we haven't done? Something wrong, Chief? What's with the big sigh? Ah, oh, welcome to the stream! Oh, you had a lot of fun? That's good. Did you, uh, beat the game? Or are you almost there? Well, it's nothing, really. Cat person! Thanks for the follow! Since you arrived and Not yet. <laughs> been investigating Kanai Ward's ultimate secret. I'll definitely check to see where you are in the game when I'm doing my stream. Tomorrow will be the end of the game? Oh, so you're close, close. It seems we're all tense every day. I think it's just getting to me a bit. I know this dude is like mad stressed right now. I can't seem right to find now. a way to feel all nice and relaxed. Since the moment we got to this place, he was just like, don't cause any trouble and don't investigate anything. I was like, wait, but I'm a detective. That's what I do. I don't understand what you want from me. <laughs> I see. Damn it all. I long for the days when things were so uneventful. Before we came here, most of your work concerned infidelity and looking for lost pets, right? Yup. I used to just stare out the window and check whether the occasional client's spouse was cheating or not. Well, don't eat anything that Yuma's cooking, so because he kind of almost killed uh, Yaki over, over here with his egg rice. 
tail the target, and sure enough, they'd be cheating. Then the missus would end up crying when I was the same old story every day. This may be rude of me, but that doesn't sound very fun. In fact, okay. it sounds And I will boring. be here. Sure is. But you know what they say. Every job is equally important. Just because a job may look more glorious, doesn't mean it's better. Nothing wrong with plain old boring jobs. What's most important is whether you can be proud of what you do. Oh yeah, and I know you guys can't tell right now, but uh, we're a submarine right now. That's our office. He's pretty much, he lost, this man over here, Yakio, he lost everything because he was just sniffing around the wrong tree and they took everything from him. Oh, oh look at Buzzhead trying to act all cool. Huh? What's wrong? You fell quiet out of nowhere. After I'm impressed. I zoned out. <laughs> uh, let's go with... Can you look silent? Hey, that's scary! Why are you so quiet? I just wasn't expecting that kind of stuff from you. Okay, this time I actually do moved. have a couple of next to me. Conveniently! Not expecting. What's your image of me anyway? Um, sorry. Irresponsible. But really, uh, I'm impressed. No backbone. Lazy. Unkept. The list goes on. Quitter. You're right. All jobs are equally important. I'll make sure I keep that in mind. Yeah, you do that. Oh yeah, and so I don't know if this is going to be what our next case is, but it's a, lo a very large hint that, uh, it, they, what is it, the nail murders? Because apparently someone's going to be going around nailing people to the ground like they're voodoo dolls. When you hang around master detectives a lot, you start to think you belong to a special class of people. True. I hang out with them so much that I was starting to think I was on their level. You have abilities, Yuma! Like, how- you've learned nothing from the train! I better be more careful about this. I have a saying when it comes to my own work philosophy. Nothing beats a drink after a hard day's work. I do hear that a lot. Well, it's all bogus anyway. Any time is a good time for booze. Yeah, this is true. A good drink is way better if you get to imbibe without having to work for it. What's wrong? <laughs> he just gave him that look like, mm. <laughs> Are you amazed by my grown-up philosophy? I'm sorry, but I need to reconsider how impressed I was just now. Dang. What? I can't believe you'd say that so fast! <laughs> Master, you and Yako seem to have grown closer. Wait, is there like friendship points or something like that? Or no? <sighs> loading screens. These loading screens are so long. There was one that lasted for like a full minute. Like, I was just like, uh, did the game die or something like that? Okay, so I'm thinking the rest of this is... Okay, so yeah, there are hints to where all the other ones are. Iron iron coffin bed storage, an underground refined secret of the toys, Princess Kaguya of Bamboo... Okay, I, I don't know what that means to me yet. Can, can you just let That's me adventure, true. please? Well? Uh, 
Oh, and it turns out that we are not a master detective. We are a detective in training, but we were so impressive for whatever reason they sent us here. The basically most criminally infested place on, let's go. in the go, planet. Go, go, go. Priority store. There are some questionable bottles lined up here, though. <laughs> hey, look! There's a candy called Raindrops. How crappy! <laughs> oh, I, I thought this was gonna be a store for like for me to go and do things. Guess not. So I remember moving some things in here, but can you can you go around from here? Yeah, sure. Yes. Oh. Zoom! Gotta get to the detective points. Hmm. These doodles. Hmm? You know some machine gummy? Huh? Of course not. I'm not into this stuff at all. Am I super expecting anything else? You're just laughing on the ground. Okay. Head up the stairs. Roxas. <laughs> until until we're revealed otherwise, his name is now Roxas from Kingdom Hearts. What was up with that person? They probably don't see outsiders that much. Come on, let's hurry up. Right. There's gonna be so much exploring oh. because I have to find all the other figurines who I want more memories. I get it. It's an old broken windows theory. A vicious cycle of littering inviting more more littering. Places like this tend to be rough, so watch yourself, master of puny arms. Yes, I know I'm weak. Yeah, I'll be careful. Maybe passed out, maybe? I oh, know he's just drunk. Mm. It's just a drunk. There wasn't some terrible acting, too bad. Where could it be? An Amabel? I thought it was a toy, but maybe it's some kind of animal. Another store? Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Say! Since we're here, why not pick up a few paired kicks? No. The boots that the world attentively she provided are fairly comfortable. I'll stick with them. I mean, they are cool looking, they glow. I know the game will probably like take me all over the city. Uh, um. Mm. He's just glaring at us. Let's not talk to this man. Oh wait, nope, nope. Wait. Oh, I don't know what happened here. Oh no! You're going to the men's room with poor defenseless little me right there. We can't go in because it's being clean. Is that what that means? It's just spray painting a big red X, that means it's being clean? It says in the cab right there. There! That's the hotel!
Pardon me, you're not from Kanai Ward, are you? Who gave it away? No, I'm not. How did you know? I do work at a hotel, after all. I can tell from how a guest behaves. I don't know your circumstances, but it's rare to have guests from outside Kanai Ward. Patronage has plunged since Kanai Ward secluded itself from the world three years ago. Frankly, we've had little to do. <sighs> it's not as if we can just relocate somewhere else. I wonder how long this will go on for. Ah, my apologies. I shouldn't complain in front of a guest. I mean, yeah, it would make sense that a hotel would kind of be hurt if they just separate themselves from the outside world. Why did Kanai Ward cut itself off from the rest of the world? Does it have to do with Kanai Ward's ultimate secret? It has some, it probably has something to do with this never ending rain that they got going on here. Hey, let's ask him about it. Um, why did Kanai Ward close itself off from the world? It was the will of Amaterasu Corporation. There's no other reason. It seems we common folk don't have a right to know. Oh, so not even the people who live here know. They're just like, we just gotta live with it. This is just, this is just the world now. This is how, this is how it is now. I don't understand why the unified government permitted it. But they didn't permit it. Because Asimiro Corp is like the absolute ruler of this area. The unified government had no say in this. Uh, I mean, I have no complaints about Amaterasu. Amaterasu Corporation subsidizes the hotel, so besides the boredom from all our free time, we have no complaints. Sounds like Amaterasu Corp unilaterally closed the borders. If that's the case, they've got huge political power. You, sound, you see how scared this man is with just even the slight, like, man, why are they clear? Oh, I mean, I, I love my job. I, I love my job and all um, the free time I get. Um, please, please look at me. Like, he was scared that someone was listening in. That's some nice information you got. Another step towards solving God I Ward's ultimate secret. I don't know about that. If you look closely at this flower, you can tell it's synthetic. I was about to put you that word. The constant rain keeps sunlight out, so growing real flowers is a no-go, right? That's kind of weak. Oh, I did not notice you there, just laying there. What, Vivia? Oh, Yuma. Good morning. Good morning? What are you doing here? Huh? <laughs> I'm reading a book. <laughs> Look at his face, he's like, oh my god. The story I'm reading is about a boy building a sandcastle on a lake shore with a girl he just met. Many days pass, and the sandcastle still isn't complete. For some reason, it disappears the day after it's made. The protagonist believes there's a reason why that happens. He believes the girl has been secretly destroying the sandcastles at night. So he stays on lookout at night on the lake. And just as he thought, the girl appears. As expected, she destroys the sandcastle and returns home. The protagonist wonders, why she do such a thing? Yuma, what do you believe her motive is? Uh-huh. Uh... She hates me, she likes Like, this could go either way, because if she... If she hated him... Well, the thing is, it has to be that she likes him because they keep redoing it every day. So it's probably a reason for her to go see him. Maybe she likes the protagonist. 
I see. If she continues to destroy the guys... sandcastle, the protagonist will return to rebuild it. Sorry if you guys can hear the sirens behind me, but if you can't, <laughs> I'm glad. <laughs> and they can stay together. As long as they continue to build the sandcastle. It's rather clumsy, but quite a laudable effort by the girl. She could just ask him to come again tomorrow instead. That solution is quite romantic. It's very like you to say that, Yuma. Hmm. So what's the real reason? The real reason? It doesn't say anything about that. You must imagine the girl's reasoning for yourself. That's what stories are all about. Just as you brought up this question, the protagonist also tries to find the truth by chasing after the girl. But he loses sight of her in the darkness. However, it's a singular path with no other way to go. Normally, it'd be impossible to lose sight of someone there. The moonlight shines over the lake at the end of the path. I feel like he's telling me a story there, right now. At the lake, the protagonist notices something. The sight of the girl facing away from him, disappearing into the lake. Huh? The protagonist recalls a story about a girl who drowned at the lake years ago. Almost like a long forgotten memory. He checks old newspapers and finds a picture of her. In the photo, she looks like she's smiling directly at him. Isn't it beautiful? No, that took a very dark turn. So basically, she's a ghost girl that just... I'm eating some spaghetti. Nice. But, I mean, that's very... Like, he's like, is that beautiful? Like, no, it's dark. <laughs> because it's basically a ghost girl that was like, oh, finally, someone can see me. Let's go to the sandcastle. And she just wants them to keep coming back so they can enjoy the day together. But she's afraid that he, that he, that, that he won't come back. So she just keeps destroying the castle and going back into the lake. <sighs> this guy probably has no friends. <laughs> By the way, Vivia, Chief Yako asked for you at the office. Oh, is it that time already? Yes. Tell the Chief I'll be there. He's the type of guy that would like sleep all the way to like 12 or 1 o'clock in the afternoon and be like, it's time for me to get up and go to work already, but it's only noon. And you'd be like, yo, you have to be here like at 10. Like... <laughs> All right. Yeah, he's not going anywhere. Just look at him. He has zero intention of getting up. Yeah, he, he doesn't plan on getting up anytime soon. I have not seen this man for oh, long. Also, not once. do you know where the others are? Maybe the restaurant? They should still be eating breakfast right now. The restaurant. Got it. I'll check it out. <sighs> I want to die someday. I don't know why he says things like this. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna read that. <laughs> Where are y'all at? Come on! Over there, Master! Hey, rookie! What's up? You How you doing, Pikachu? Too? Good morning. Um, it's way past our meeting time. Huh? Are we late? Impossible. No, it's not impossible. As if I would permit time to ever overtake me. Oh my god. My vision is quite sharp, you know. Um, I have no idea what you're talking about, but that's not an excuse for being late. Oh, she's not making excuses. This is just how she is? Listen, Rookie. I bet you're here just because Chief told you to find us. Yep, he's right. 
But you've yet to realize one crucial fact. Think about it. Everyone besides you and the Chief are staying at this hotel. It'd be faster to bring the Chief over here, right? Yeah, except the fact that he's the Chief, meaning... Employee goes to the office. Okay, so... Now that you mention it, yes. Don't be convinced so easily! Anyway, you should bring the Chief here. No, because then I would have to double back and do more work. I'm already here, so get your asses in gear and go to the goddamn submarine. And no way! For all we know, the Peacekeepers could be around. The meeting may even be about planning out operations, so it's better to have it at the office. I agree with Yuma. What? You, of all people, are saying that now? Yes. Oh, jeez, fine. Tell the chief I'll be there after my post-meal soda. Post-meal Drink it on the way! Oh my god. You're so, I will also be you're there so bougie. I have to chew well to promote good digestion, so this will take some time. Got it. By the way, is Halara here with you? Yeah, he is extra! And they're all extra, yeah, you will see in their own way they are extra. This girl over here, she is dumb as rocks. And I'm just like, the cre- the cream of the crib got sent here, so what do you do? To get sent here. Did see? Yes. Like, this girl is gone. She is in her head all day long. <laughs> like, literally, the top brass told them what their mission was. And then she was just like, I'm a pacifist. I don't want to do that. And they're like, Do you even know what he said? I uh, wasn't really paying attention. It's like, So you don't know? Uh, I doubt anyone in the world. I'm can really count hoping. That one. I'm really hoping her power is so useful that it excuses all of that. Take a shot. I could take a shot of some water because right now my uh, my alcohol selection is kind of <laughs> kind of depleted right now. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll, I'll put that on your tab, Demon Lord. The next time I have some alcohol, the first thing I'm gonna do is take a shot. <laughs> Did, oh, you drink some rum. Don't worry, I'll let you know when I have alcohol once again in stock. I was going to offer an invitation to join us for breakfast. But the room was already empty. I'm sure Halara's around somewhere. Probably hustling kids out of their money. Looks like we have legwork to do. Let's search around some more. Um. So no. it's all right. Please take your time. No. Hurry up. <laughs> Roshi meal is bad for the di digestion after all. You will excuse me. So chewing really slowly it looks like it might be a while before she finishes eating. Take the plate with you! I'm pretty sure they have to go plates. <laughs> you can eat the rest of you right there. I'm pretty sure he has a microwave. Oh yeah, and this dude right here, I always call him Pikachu. Because he's literally, if Pikachu was a person or human, this is what he would look like. Because, tell me why. Tell me why. Where is it? They gave this man Pikachu's freaking cheeks on his actual cheeks. Yellow jacket. Very hyper. And I'm just like... And his last name is Thunderbolt. Like, come on. <laughs> So I have nicknamed him Pikachu. I don't care what anyone says, that that is his name. What is that? Hey. I've got a favor to ask. Huh? A favor? What is it? Yeah. 
There's a book I really want to read, but I haven't been able to find a copy. I bet you could find it on the way to the office! It's called The Crow and the Dove, Survival of the Fittest in World Salvation. <sighs> That's one heck of a title. Right. It's the tragic story of a crow battling a dove in order to justify its existence. In the end, the two turn the world into a wasteland. Sh sure. <laughs> He's like, okay. <sighs> Doesn't that sound a bit dull? I think so. <laughs> if you happen to find the book, I was hoping you'd bring it to me. As because... you can see, I'm pretty busy here. Uh, you sure don't look like it. Hmm. Well, look around for it if you're so inclined. Uh, I'll just take it easy and wait uh, here. Uh, it's bad laziness. It's almost refreshing. Okay. It's a okay. detective's responsibility to help those in need. You might see people in need of help while you're moving around town. You can receive requests by talking to them. Well, might as well give it a go. Snatch the snatcher. Take on requests the detective way. Detective points can be earned by solving them. Requests can only be accepted, fulfilled, in in the chapter they appear. Okay. Nice to know. Come on, pay attention. By continuing ahead, Lola, if you progress through the chapter without completing the request, it'll stay unsolved. If the progress through the chapter without accepting the request, it'll disappear. So be careful. Okay. So do every Are you side quest. Remember all of this? You can try <laughs> unsolved request if you play the chapter again. Okay, apparently it's like the part of Foster Street, so... What's the matter? Uh, Some guy was trying to push this weird book on me. I told him no, but he was so pushy. I don't know if he has a quarter or what, but he was really persistent. I'm being annoyed just thinking about it. That is a cool drone. <laughs> I'm sorry, I stopped what I was doing, I just looked at it. It is a drone umbrella! Oh, that's nice. It had really long name too. Crow something something. Who even beats that stuff? Maybe. Is looking for? Um, where did you run into that person? Oh well, if you take the street toward the district and turn left at the bar, you'll find him. Better stay away though. He was really persistent. I see. I see. Thank you for the advice. Whenever I hear that, I'm thinking like there's something I need to see. It did it again. Oh! What's, that, what's all the rainbow from the district drains here? Why don't they let it drain into the river instead of the city? Jeez, whoever designed this was pretty dense. I get the detective points. Might buy a raincoat. Yeah, you, you need a raincoat in this city. There's no might about it. Oh, that new book comes out today, doesn't it? I have to pick it up after work. Now that I think about it, the bookstore owner said he had the older edition too. Maybe I'll get both. Speaking right. of which... Alright, Vinny asked me to buy a book from him earlier. Maybe I should yeah. ask this guy about it. He seems like he might know a lot about books. Excuse, oh, excuse me. me. I'm looking for an unusual book. Oh, you like books too? In the case, you should get yourself to the Kamasaki District Bookstore. They have books from all over the world there. It's anyone's guess how they got their hands on them. Oh! That sounds amazing. The store is at the top of the stairs just ahead. If you're looking for a book, that's the place to check. 
Thank you very much. Thank you. I heard it again. Where is it? Unless it's the guy. Yeah, I think it might be the guy. You over there, looking to buy something? I deliver too, help me out here. Huh? Huh? I deal in all kinds of books. Sales have been slow lately, so why not buy something? Uh oh, Aww. are you gonna get out of this one? I actually, <laughs> I don't have much money. Just take a look. Don't cost a thing. Come on, just take one, one look. I got food, dinner snacks, load of books. Books? Hmm? Kind of think of it. Speaking What's it of being which... looking for a book? Looking for a book, eh? What's it called? Um. Uh, what was that title again? Uh. World Salvation. Hey, I got that one in stock. Nice taste you got there. This one's a real cult classic. Really? Huh? Yeah, it's a good one, but not too popular. Been having trouble moving it. Gonna take one off my hands? Yes, then... please. I'd like it to be delivered to the person sitting on pi under the piano at the hotel. Hmm. From the piano of the hotel? Well, whatever. So I just gotta get the money from him. Yes, thank, thank you. Thank you very much. Yes, that means yes. I fulfill for the request. Not yet, man, sir. You have to make sure the book reaches its destination. That's right. true. Let's go check with Fia. Or we could have just taken the book from him and just said the guy under the piano will pay you. Wait, is there something else? Oh, that. This book seems to be this made is... of waterproof material. That's probably true for a lot of stuff produced in Kind of World. Some pages have been painted completely black, though. I have no idea what it's saying. Well, or maybe it's Elmster's censorship because because it stuff's critical of them. Okay, so there's nothing else I was supposed to get here. jump off a building or anything, okay? <laughs> I can imagine you would do something like that. Right. I was considering it. It seems the book has had an impact on me. Truly, That's my nice. Read. Thank you, Yuma. Detective work question mark. Oh wait, but it seems I still have to... Unless I'm just supposed to exit, maybe. Maybe? No, man, the cover behind this is- oh, let me read! Hey, did you hear about the clock tower case at Kima District? I heard it's the nail man again. Yeah, the culprit was already caught. There were a bunch of peacekeepers. It was a big deal. No way! The nail man was caught? What did he look like? Man. They mentioned a case. Ah, a case already! The city 
is just as wonderful as the rumors say! It happened at the clock tower in a place called Ginma District! Let's go see! But we have to find Halara first! Oh my god! Hey, I can't wait a second longer! Ugh, this color works here too? Yeah, unfortunately Until for this you. world ends! Until this world ends, she says. <laughs> Look at this poor boy! No, stop it! Stop dragging me! We, I really can't, like, move against the chain. Like, I am moving the stick everywhere, and it's just not- it's not letting me at all. She's throwing me against my will. Mini products- uh -huh. uh-huh. The cover behind the serial mirrors is pretty kind of war, but Naomi's crabs are always locked rooms filled with nails. So they're just there, nailed to whatever, and there's no way anyone could have gotten in or out. Noted. Stop dragging me! <sighs> oh, that's pretty. I mean, the, the little Christmas trees that they got in those little- yeah, those! Aw! Oh. District. We got here by just wandering around. Wait, you didn't know where you were going? It feels different from Kamasaki District. It's still raining as usual, but the area looks high class and luxurious. Yeah. Not just the buildings, the people too. Yeah, everyone's like a business Everyone person. Everyone looks totally rich! Crazy different from the poors we saw back there. The poor, she says. I hate poor people. What? All the poor have deranged personalities. Oh my god. I think it depends on the person. So where's the clock tower that incident happened at? Like I said, we need to find Halara first. Listen, Master. As your mentor, I'll teach you something important. Detectives prioritize investigations above all else, more than your parents or nature's call itself. All right, fine, I'll go. Guess I'll ask around first. Don't forget this stuff. Basically, the bus can be used to travel to place the orbit or yet yeah, fast travel. Wow. Oh, sorry. I see. However, depending on master situation, there are times when the bus may not be available, so you gotta be patient. You can also travel to different locations by opening the time world. Map from the notebook menu and select the travel by bus. Okay. Again, I love these drone umbrellas they got going on here. Take a look at the state of the art umbrella. Yep. I got this new Amaterasu Corporation tech before anyone else. No, I've seen. Uh, look, there's literally a person walking right next to you that with the same umbrella. Like, what's with the blank look? Don't you understand the value of this drone umbrella? Now that I've had a look at you, you don't dress appropriately to be from Gima District. As you can see, we sell elegant and high-end products here. You're better off at <laughs> Kamasaki District. Oh, go fuck yourself. He said you're better with the <laughs> the paw. Uh, he he does not know what to say to that. Oh my god, that- I almost got freaked out by these dinosaurs right here because all I did was turn and my eyes immediately went to the glowing eyes of these dinosaurs. I was like, huh. Bless. It's a detective's responsibility to help those in need. Okay. Um... Dang it. That's... What am I looking for? I know what I'm looking for, I'm just trying to figure out where it is. Maybe it's in case files. Okay. The dinosaur fossil is so cool. 
We should extract it. We should extract this DNA and recreate it. No. You will not pull a Jurassic Park. Even if, um, even if we could, we need to stop and ask if we should. Better. Oh my. That's a quote from the movie. There are so many references in this game. Okay, but I was saying, I was like, it says there's something here. What should I do if something happened to my baby? I'm sure she's fine. Probably. Oh! Looks like they mm -hmm. have a problem, Master. What do you want to do? Yeah. You just ignore them. This is what they have to say. Uh. Excuse me, is something wrong? Oh! Our shower some vanished. That's, huh? that's it! I lost I lost it boring! A little girl was spirited away. I just know it. Spirited hmm? away? Oh, that's a unique combination of words. Um. What does being spirited away mean? Lady, there's been a rumor spreading through Kamasaki district. Children are suddenly disappearing. Even though you never let them out of your sight, they're gone in an instant or spirited away. It seems that none of the other kids who've been spirited away have returned. Oh, please let her be safe. Are you gonna go to sleep? Okay, well, thank you for visiting the stream. Hope you have a nice nap. And I'll see you again when I see you. Then, where did you last see her? We were shopping together. Oh, I'm so worried. If something's happened to her, I have other things I need to be doing, but. You know we're gonna say yes. We had to do every yeah. side mission, every little thing. Okay, I'll find her. You two wait here. You will? Thank you so much. This is a photo of our girl. She's wearing the same clothes today, so this might help you recognize her. I'm begging you, please find our baby. Does it like show like a notification of where it is? Hmm. Okay, it does. It shows it on this. One. Okay, so I'm in a whole different district. That can can you? Oh my god. I need to go to this district. Wait, what does that mean? With these notifications, does that mean there's three requests here? So I should probably, so I should probably just go back here. Yes. Cause it, that probably means I missed like three missions. Because, you know, if we keep going the way we're going, we're just gonna get more into the story, and I hate to, like, not do, uh, go through the story and not do the side quest. Sorry. Excuse me, have you seen this child? Never seen her. Was she spirited away too? You've heard this well? before? This being spirit away happen that often? I don't know about that, but I've seen lots of folks get hysterical because they're kid up and vanish. They say it's a ghost that appeared out of nowhere. It kids us kids. A ghost? Hmm? Don't love me with <laughs> together with some ghost! It's not like I believe in ghosts in the first Oh, I'm sorry, wrong voice. I I it's not like I believe in ghosts in the first place. I believe in Asmur is behind it. Asmara. <sighs> yeah, they're probably using kids for some kind of experiment, you know? I wouldn't be too surprised if Asmara really was behind it all. Maybe. Is Asmara really doing something that's terrible? Thanks for your Thank help. Thank you very much. Please let me know if you see the child. Oh, and there's another request, too. Is anything in this alley? Any 
anything. So I know I've talked to him already. Um, excuse, excuse me. Excuse me. Can I help you? Have you seen this uh, child around here? Never seen her. I see. Uh, it doesn't yeah. seem like he knows anything. I should ask someone else. Oh, nope, I'm on the wrong floor. You know what? I should wander up here a little bit because I am looking for figurines. I can never find someone's gonna make a guide eventually, but like, oh, here's all the figurines, and they're gonna be in so obvious places. I'm gonna feel stupid later. Because what was the hints for them? Iron coffin bed storage and underground find the secret of the toys, Princess Kaguya. I can't think of anything across the bat. No, I'm not lost, lady. Oh, oh God, there's a cool fish thing coming up. I wish I could take it for a spin. I see. You can float and you still want to drive? I'd rather just try floating personally. You can float <laughs> all you want after you die and become a ghost. That's a one way street though. I'll pass. Huh? Isn't there something else? Or am I mentioning it? No. No, because if I do that... Ugh. Oh, what do I do? How could this happen? What's hmm? the matter? Oh, please help me. I don't know what to do. Uh... <laughs> Your luck is as bad as ever. Anyway, For now. let's see what she has to say. Someone stole my purse. I tried talking to the peacekeepers, but they wouldn't even hear me out. Could you please help me find the person who snatched my purse? Aww. Boy, those peacekeepers are really useless. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna help her? No problem, just yes. let me handle it. Really? Thank you so much. <laughs> but we can't leave this to me, Trini. You better follow my lead on this one. As <sighs> self-centered as always. Could you tell me what the person should look like? Well, he was wearing a navy blue jacket, glasses, and white pants. Oh, and he also has a white mask. Got it. Thank, Thank you. you very much. I'm counting on you. Bet on it. Excuse me. Um. Have you seen this child around here? Like I saw her in the Unger Passage not too long ago. Really? Yes. I don't remember it clearly, but I think a kid was wearing the same clothes. Thank you so Thank you much. Very much. I'll go and take a look. Be careful if you're going down there. The peacekeepers are sometimes on patrol. If you get caught and sent to a detention facility, they're probably not coming back. What? Wow, how extreme. All right. Good. Got it. I'll be back. The underground patches. Let's go out and check it out. Right. Yeah. If we if we don't hurry, the kid might be there anymore. Hmm. Is this the place where the kid was seen? It feels like a ghost would pop out any second from the spooks. Anyway, For now. let's take a look around. Huh? Oh. Is that the munchie we're looking for? Maybe. Yeah. Let's go check. You alright? 
Hello? Master, hmm. be careful! Huh? So you're the one who kidnapped the kid. The worst. The worst. I have a big story about this guy, Master. Is he even human? Ah, uh, this city is the worst. It's all because of Asimura Corporation. If not for them. Huh? What are you saying? I still feel sorry for all the children in the city. This city cursed by Asimura. That's why I chose to save them, to save the children with my own hands. This guy really is a human. It's the memory of a man who died miserably. Let him say he's a ghost and you can put it back. Gotta get out of here. I won't let you. Damn. Oh, he froze. I can't move. Master! Master! Let my master go, you creep! Choose the child or yourself. Only one of you will return. Huh? Who's gonna choose which one wants to save? Come on. Forget about the kid. You're much more important, Master. I. <laughs> so make me choose. Oh my God! You're gonna make me choose. I mean, uh. <laughs> what would happen if I if I choose? Like the child, does that mean I just die immediately in credits roll? I was gonna, I was gonna choose a child. Come on! Look, we haven't died yet. Do you have a death wish? No! I don't plan on dying. Oh, I'm sorry, wrong voice! <laughs> Use the high fish voice there. I don't plan on dying, but I can't sacrifice a child. In your care. Huh? Huh? Who, who are you, mister? Are we underground? Your mom and dad uh. asked me to come look for you. Let's head back to them together, okay? Okay. Popular sports. Parkour is popular among the young men of customer regions. New problems have arisen, however, with all the trespassing and burning across the top of food stalls. Okay. Okay, so I was instantly teleported back here. Thank you so much. How can I ever repay you? I'm just glad no. your child is safe. Well, if you excuse me. Of course. Come now. Say thank you. Thanks, mister. See you later. You and the kid are safe, but what was that ghost? I bet he used to sure. be a door children. I don't think he ever planned to harm them. The guy was kidnapping. He probably and meant it why. when he said he wanted to save them. Maybe he lost his own child to the city. That's why he was trying to take them from here. That's what I think anyway. Okay, but we have to go back to that same point, though, with the purse snatcher. Why is it four now? Like, why did the number go up? Is that how many I did? Because I've done... Spirit away. I've done... If that's the case, I've only really done no, and then I did that. Maybe it's how many I did. Do, do, long, ass, freaky, 
floating screens. Okay. Oh, jeez. I don't know why, but I was looking up the entire time, so I wasn't looking down, and I thought I was falling. I thought I was clipping through the game for like a split second. Oh my god, that scared me. Uh, well, I'm closest to this right now. Is this the hmm? first snatcher? No, it said a white mask. No. Oh, there's one. I see it. Yes. Recall memories for the Yaku notebook. All right, cool. Okay, we're not gonna click on that one though, because that'll put us in a whole episode right now. Customer of what? Huh? I better get out of here, Master. He's definitely saying something dangerous. S S sorry. Okay, but what, just to make sure, because he is wearing a white mask. Uh, navy blue jacket, glasses, white pants, white mask. Navy blue? I mean, depending how you're looking, it looks blue, but... It might be him, but we'll... we'll I'm so confused with who I've already picked already. So there's this guy. And then there's a lot of these do seem to be like underground. things lined up. <laughs> oh, I already read this already. Okay. Yeah, so I've already seen all of this already. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's look at this description again. So he's got white mask, black jacket. Um, blue glasses, white pants, white mask. So 
Town. Okay, there we go. Navy blue. White, white glasses. Okay. Hmm? You must be the You're person. the culprit. Damn. Guess it's the end of the line. W why Because he needs money. I didn't want to, but I had no choice. I got no money for food. No money for meat buns. I had to steal the person's cell. It's those damn peacekeepers' fault. The hmm? peacekeepers' fault? You're damn right. They extort us every chance they get and call a security tax. Right. You know that gold tooth swank only cares about money? Damn it. I won't let them catch me. Those peacekeepers will never get a hold of me. Whoa! Ah, oh, he's getting away, away, Master! You're it's not gonna so... chase him? We, sure. We got the bad back, didn't we? We should hurry For back now. to the client. Come, Come on, on, that's it! Right when things were getting interesting! Yeah, he felt bad for him. He was just like, I'm not gonna do this. Oh, is that my bag? You really got it back for me. He, yes, I'm uh... afraid the culprit got away. Oh, don't worry about it. I'm just so happy to have my bag back. I really appreciate it. But right. No. Hey, hey, you look pretty gloomy for someone who just pulled off the second job. What's up? Is it because oh. you're upset that the criminal get away? If I had caught him, uh, I just have to hand over to the peacekeepers. There's no telling what would happen to him then. Come on! He get what he deserves, and technically the criminal go free is disgraceful. <laughs> yeah, but I can't just do it. Ugh, Master, you're such a coward! <laughs> Dang. She really chewed into you for that. Is, okay, so there's no more of them in this location, currently. He <laughs> Cohen is his name, his father has time of birth, they always play cat- what, what does that have any relevance to? Stockings? All of the nuns were stockings have a thing. So who is investigating this detail? Hmm? Could that thing over there be the clock tower? No doubt about it! Let's take a look, Master! Because something bad happened. She said if I don't listen to her, the nail man will get me. Oh man, so the nail man is like the boogeyman around here. Where did she say to avoid? The clock tower down this path, up ahead. We're gonna investigate more of this area later down the line. Oh my god. So, okay, I was looking at this all wrong. So when I look down the street, this glowy thing down here, up here, but if you would move your words, ma'am, um, look, looked like it was like way down there. So that's why I was about to run down there, but that's not the case. I can smell the mystery coming out of it. Popular meat bun shop in Casamiri Dish are operating out of a street stall. Location changes daily, very reasonable price. There's a big clock tower 
are nearby. That's what my friends and I usually play. But something happened and the peacekeepers ran us off. Ugh, I'm so bored. Look at all those robber neckers. Oh my god. These are some really trash things. I actually like that. Hey, I heard the nail man got caught. What? The serial killer? You know, I just realized it, but this music that's playing right now is Persona 5. It, it, this is the music that plays in Persona when something's like happening. Is it not, not the same music? Or am I tripping? Serial killer? So, what's this nail man guy like? Is his face covered with nails? He's not called Nail Man because he's covered in them, idiot. Didn't you hear about the nails all over the crime scenes? Nails all over the crime scenes? Oh my gosh, she's getting excited. So it was another locked room mystery, right? Oh, just like on the train. Stop giving us these locked room mysteries. Yeah, that's what I heard. Of exciting phrases, one after another. I just might start drooling. Master, I let's hurry and check it out. We can't. It's already sealed off by the peacekeepers. I can't wait any longer. Hey. Yo, you better not drag him into this by chain. Oh, uh, good morning. Who are you? Um, did something happen here? The place is off limits to outsiders. Get lost. Sorry. Why are you so quick to back down? so pathetic. I know, but take a look around. There's no way I can get any closer. Don't tell me to push my way through the peacekeepers. I don't want them setting their sights on me. Besides, the murderer has already been caught. There's no point in me getting involved. And you call yourself a detective? A detective will always crave more info about the crime. I mean, this is true. It's a locked room mystery! You should be crapping your pants with excitement right now! No, I shouldn't! Besides, I'm not even a proper detective. Master, don't tell me you're worried about being a trainee. It's more like... I just don't get it. Why am I even trying to become a detective? Why are you worried about it? Your past self was so worried about it that they erased your memories. They were pretty much thought like, okay, even without my memories, I'll do what I need to do. I mean, will I ever regain my memories? Without them, I don't know how to feel about working at the Nocturnal Detective Agency. Master, what's important isn't your past, it's your future. I mean, you're the reason this happened to me in the first place, Shinigami. Well, if you're so fixated on the past, why don't you follow in the footsteps of your past self? What do you mean? Aim to become a detective as a trainee! If you aim for the same destination, all paths will eventually lead to one place. Which means that one day, you should understand how your past self felt. I get the feeling you're just saying that so I'll do what you want me to. Yeah, but, I mean, she also has a point. If your past self was trying to become a detective, then obviously you were trying to become a detective, so just focus all your energy on that. Besides, how am I supposed to try to become a detective? Through investigating cases, obviously. So, let's scope out that clock tower. How about it, future detective? Yeah, you're just trying to make me do whatever you want. Fine. 
For now, I'll ask around about what happened. Maybe this case has something to do with Kanai Ward's ultimate secret. That's the spirit! Miss Durable! Cutscene, cutscenes. I sure love. Oh, not cutscene, loading screens. I sure love loading screens. They're just, you know, so dank fun. <laughs> okay, finally. Jeez. Alright, and we will investigate the Nailman mystery next time because we have run out of time, ladies and gentlemen. Um, and I hope you guys have all enjoyed yourselves. Thank you for all that came to hang out and uh, be with me during this stream. Demon Lord and Cat Person. And I think, very, yeah, Godmother, I think that was your name. <laughs> uh, thank you all for coming. And like always, I'm not going to tell you when the next stream is. But most likely, the next time will be either... Friday or Saturday. Let's say Friday or Saturday, one of those two days. Um, that you will see my beautiful face and this beautiful but dark game. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you later. Bye!